roll for initiative. <clears throat> all right, so it could be all right. So we'll just make it up. You know, you guys, uh, your guys, uh, your characters are level nine. You guys all know each other. Um, you have been completing quests here, there, everywhere, kind of deal. Um, as you're making your way to uh, unbeknownst to location, you're just kind of traveling as you know you guys do, looking for your next adventure. Um, the environment starts to change from summer to fall to cold, and then cold and colder, and then colder and colder and colder. And before you know it, you're just kind of in this uh, Arctic tundra. Um, it's cold. You guys at this point um, aren't doing too hot. Or it's very barren. And. Um, after about a week, um, you guys finally start to see some formations in the landscape. You know, the flat turns to mountains and galleys and valleys and rocky hills and all that shit. Um, and a, you know, kind of structure starts to appear, uh, man-made, looks like a little tiny uh, village, and you spot... Um, you know, one of the what you could presume is like a you know attendee of the village, a, a village or what what have you, is out uh, gathering any scraps from the tundra he can, uh, whether that's twigs or frozen berries and dead carcasses. Um, I'm going to go into the opening narrative right here. All right, so. You guys are talking to this guy, yada, yada, yada. Um, so, <clears throat> your help has been requested by the mayor of Prox, a city located in the northern confederacy of Mayard. A lighthouse once gave warmth and sunlight to the people of Mayard, allowing the city to prosper. Though five months ago, the beacon of the lighthouse went dark. Since then, the kingdom has become a shell of its former self, their crops frozen over time, entire families frozen to death in their homes. <clears throat> Monsters constantly invade the city. The people of Mayard are now at their limits, and it is up to you to save Mayard and relight the Great Dragon Lighthouse. Hearing of the dire situation, your party makes haste. After months of traveling by land and sea, you arrive in the city of Frox. It is far worse than you could have imagined. Wooden houses have been destroyed by constant blizzards and ice storms. The stone and brick houses that remain are covered in a layer of snow and ice. Frozen bodies lay in the street of the town, some half-eaten by the monsters who attacked it. It becomes clear to all of you that Hope died in the city months ago. It seems you are the land's last chance of survival. Seeing your party... A town guard rushes to you and shouts, Are you the party of adventurers the mayor has requested? Which he obviously didn't request you. You guys are kind of stumbling. Yeah. Also, yeah, real quick caveat. I'm not a fantastic storyteller by any means. Uh, so a lot of this shit is shot from the hip. Um, so uh, I'm just putting that out there. Me either. <laughs> We're going to jive you up one or two. All right, so... You guys, um, I'm assuming, make small talk with this guy. It's frozen. Um, you make your way, I'm assuming. Oh, slow your roll. <laughs> okay. What do you guys do? No, we totally lie and be like, yeah, we the mayor of one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, hey. Make a census. <laughs> this, isn't, this is an actual yeah, a fucking rep, uh, an accurate map of the campaign, by the way. So nothing in here. Well, it's kind of frozen. I don't know. All right, so are you guys going to the mayor's house, or you're like following the uh, yeah. guards? Uh, He's like, show show us the way. We agreed to the quest. I'm gonna. My character itself is just gonna like chill off in kind of the the cliff sides, and just like hide. If if this is, I know it's not accurate, but I'm just gonna kind of. All right, lay back. A little yeah, bit. you're you're gonna kind of uh, blend. So, and the the scene is kind of like you know. It's it's a blurry, it's kind of blizzardy, you know. So it's it's very easy to kind of like uh, dip into the snowy darkness. 
Oh and yeah, I'll definitely my, cast encrusted digitation on my boots to make them warm. My uh, as a ranger, I get natural explorer, where I have a favored terrain type, and I picked Arctic. Nice. So we okay. get we get some benefits from that, like you don't get disadvantage in uh, Arctic types. All right. We can move normally, and we also forage more food whenever we forage for food. Okay. You want me to roll a stealth or anything? No, you're good. The there are, uh, these people haven't eaten in weeks. Um, you could pretty much uh, stop talking, and he would be like, "Oh, where'd he go?" <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're kind of out of it. Think of like Survivor, the TV show, like you know, twenty four days into it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Vinny's just surprised. He's like, I didn't even have to charm him. Fuck. <laughs> uh, so. Are you, <laughs> All right, do you guys follow him to the mayor's? Like, quarters? yeah, I'll follow him for sure. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So. All right, I'll so do so from a distance. The interior of the mayor's home is warm. A few candles light your way to a study. Uh, a fireplace keeps the interior nice and toasty. The study itself is in like a disarray. Uh, scrolls and books lay all over the tables and chairs. Uh, and then soon, a tall golden dragonborn comes into the room. A smile appears on his face, a uh, weary, weary face uh, upon seeing uh, So, you guys meet the mayor, and he has the hugest fucking, like, defeated, but still able to grin through it expression. He's like, you're looking pretty dapper for a guy in such a dire situation. <laughs> Uh, to which he, he's like, um, you know, everyone here uh, looks up to me, so you know, I have to, I have to have a smile on, or else um, all hope is lost. I like that, a man of the people. He's like, so what, what's the problem here? What's going on? What's your conundrum? Um, so, and just long story short, he he, says, I don't want to read it because this is the only. But um, essentially, he goes into telling you a long story about how this land was prosperous and green, and there was birds and ducks and all this, you know, crap just living in a this prosperous area uh, until something or someone stole a um, dragon star orb from the very top of the White House. And he says that that was the um, pretty much the, the puzzle piece that allowed this area to thrive the way it did. And without it, um, everything was uh, frozen over and everything has just been dying um, for months on end now. And so he, shit was good, now shit's bad. Someone stole a rock, I got you. So you mean to tell me that you just let someone just walk up in there and just steal this right out of your hands? You didn't have any gods or nothing? Are you He's fucking a, mocking me right now? And he, he goes, who's talking? <laughs> oh yeah, no, you're hidden. <laughs> no, I'll, 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 like, I'll creep out of the shadows a little bit. <laughs> I, heard a, I heard a real fucking mocking voice. It sounded a lot like mine. You know, you can just you just pipe it, pipe it down there over there. Uh, Noah, how Thin tall? Ice, how not, that's not a pun. Thin ice. <laughs> how tall is your character? Oh but, shit, I'm small. I'd dude, probably you're probably like, like between three like and three and a half. half to four. Yeah, three and a half to four. Okay. Everyone else He's is small. Everyone else is kind of your regular height, or is yeah, we'd be considered medium. Okay, like six, six to seven. Yeah. Um, Can I have you had like any run-ins with? I'll people? say I'm like five, I'm really short. I'm like five eleven. Okay. What was has that, Walt? Has, 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 can I ask the mayor like, have you had any problems with any like group of people, or has one, anything out of the norm happened before it was stolen? The orb was stolen. Uh. No, it it was um one one day we woke up to a chilly morning and something just felt off in all of our guts and um it progressively got worse and worse as the days went on 
And with the cold came, you know, different monsters that are um, able to kind of roam freely in this land now that we don't have the security uh, and presence of, you know, this land to keep it in check. Doesn't sound like you had any security in the first place. And yeah, well, you know, we did. Um, unfortunately, the lighthouse is, you know, 12 miles away. And uh, after the tundra hit, you know, killed all the vegetation, our guys didn't have, you know, food strength. And these monster creatures picked them off one by one. Well, do you have any leads onto where this orb might have gone? Is there anyone investigating this right now? Or? Uh, you are investigators. Oh, and he and he uh, gives you like uh he, he likes I get, I get you know leads. <laughs> he gives you like a, a little bit more of a smile and like eh, did that work? <laughs> um and uh I'm forget who inside him on that shit. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Someone else asked him something right before that. What was, was it? I asking if he had, uh, yeah, if he had any leads. Uh yes. So um we ventured out um, and we're, our guys get like a warming feeling, uh, one of the northern towns cult, um, it's about halfway to the lighthouse, uh, that would be your best, you know, area to start looking if you guys wouldn't mind helping us villagers out. Well, I mean, what's in it for us? <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth. Uh, and he offers guys a great deal of wealth, pretty much name price kind of wealth. Shit. I, I got a lot of prices to name, but okay, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> um, I'm down if you guys are down. Like I'm a man of business. <laughs> I mean, if the coin is right, I... Yeah, I, I, I'm in. I'm in. Um, I'm done. Okay. So you guys all agree. Um, so he is going to be, he's going to, he starts to sob. I, I, when he sees all you guys kind of agree, you know, you can see. He's like, see oh, your, here comes the waterworks. Yeah. Uh, he goes, I'm sorry. I didn't want to, I didn't want to cry, but. And uh, he just kind of um, bows his head and you can see he's kind of emotional over it. As he um, uh, thanks you guys and whatnot, I polymorph um, him into a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, quit your fucking crying. Um, so he reaches um, on uh, for a scroll on his desk, and go for a niche. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Cast fireball. I, I earned that. <laughs> Um, so we are going to, okay, so he, I just sent something in the discord. Um, okay. he goes, you know, he pretty much tells you like, um, here, take this, uh, as like a guide on what you should do once or before and reaching the lighthouse. Um, these are the steps needed to secure the warmth back to these lands to get this frozen tundra out of here. Um, if you are able to complete um, all these things, I mean, just tell me when to stop pouring gold coins in your hand. I, I will. Do we each get a copy of it? Yeah. Uh, okay, I well, take mine and crumple it up. I would... <laughs> I would say... Oh, I, took, the brain. I, took, I, took, I, take, I take it back. He only gives you one copy. I, oh. I got this. We uncrumple it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, I say I got this. He hands it to me. I crumple it up too. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. On this one. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Okay. He's like, yeah, give, give it here. Give it here. All righty. <laughs> Sam, the brains of this operation. On the list. I really wanted to crumple that. Um. He's <laughs> gonna backhand you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <clears throat> Ooh, I'll fuck you up. So, so oh, let's go. <laughs> so, we might as well just go to call. I'll, I'll make you mine. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so he's going to give you a couple tidbits of information also. Um, and I'm just going to skim through this. Um, he's going to tell you about a couple of different things. Um, enchanted fortification. Uh, the walls in the lighthouse have abjuration magic running through them that cannot be dispelled. This prevents people teleporting through them. This includes spells such as teleport, dimension door, and astral projection. Not mean these spells are not usable, they just cannot be used. Uh, the enchanted ice, and I'll paste this stuff too. Actually, I'll just yeah. do it so you guys could read it. That way. The... So we're heading to the lighthouse now, right? No, we're heading, I, well, no, we're heading to the town north of Frogs. The town. Yeah, Cold. Cold. To the it first. is Frogs. Go there. Beat some children up. Let me piss. Okay. So the main goal is to fucking ignite that goddamn beacon. Okay. Well, we gotta get all the four wings activated for before getting the fucking beacon up. But this is something we can check while going through the tower it says itself. But we gotta get the teleportation jewel before going to the lighthouse anyways. Yeah. So, I mean, Which is whatever that fucking rock he was talking about earlier. I guess we need to go head towards Cult for the star. Yeah, the star. That's right. It was like Dragon something star. Dragon star, yeah. Dragonstone star, something like that, yeah. All right, well, you guys want to go that way, or what do you want to do? I'm, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I think on. so. All right. Unless we need to get some fucking resources and food. Cold weather. Should we ask this dude if he has any like special gear we can use? Yeah, it's like... Like, he goes, oh, uh, yes, and he yeah. pulls a sending stone out of his pocket and gives it to one of you. Ooh, don't give it to Noah. That give shit's it. great, but <laughs> will it keep us warm? <laughs> give it to Josh. Okay, I'll take it. Or I'm sorry. Do I need to Google what this does, or are you going to tell me? Sending stone, I think it's like a message stone. It's kind of like a walkie-talkie. Yeah, it's kind of like a walkie-talkie. Okay. You only get like 24 characters usually or something like that. Yeah, you are limited in characters, but generally it's like two charges a day. Depends on DM's discretion, I think, is how often you can use it's, it up. Just it's imagine it's like a cell phone from like the fucking two thousand two. Oh. Well, so yeah, who, but... who am I going to use to communicate with? Like with him? Probably the mayor. Yeah. Like, okay. you got any cold weather gear for us? Something to keep us warm, so we're not going to fucking freeze on the way on your mission. Um, and he turns his head and kind of gives a head nod to one of the guards uh, that are behind him. And the... <laughs> the guard... God, I love silent signals. The guard um, walks out the door and you hear him like grunting a little bit, like, Argh, Argh, come on. Let's... Argh, Jesus fucking Christ. You gotta really work for it! And... Um, <laughs> Let's let's go with the first um uh perceptions check by you there, Brett. I'll do it. Yeah, gotcha. All right, perception. Uh let's do let's see, my perception is not great, but here we go. Well mine's plus four. Plus see yeah. Well he's I think he's doing all of us. Or I mean, yeah. Whoever can roll, honestly. Six. <laughs> so yeah, you you just think he's like uh, in the back, like handcrafting them, <laughs> like handcrafting cold weather gear. He's like, this guy's really got some fucking talented help. <laughs> Are we all rolling or not? If you want, this is what I call quality service. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. This guy's making all of our shit. Rolled in nine. Okay. Yeah, you you uh, are like yeah. I think we seven. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right now you guys are all just thinking this dude's like making the fucking cold weather. Here. Fifteen. 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 All right. Yeah. Whoever rolled the fifteen. No um. 
Yeah, so Noah, from the shadow, you as you like creep back in the shadows, you kind of just look out the fucking window, and you see, you can see through like the blurry vision of the snowstorm, you just see this guy ripping cold weather clothes off like all the dead women and children that are like in the back courtyard, just in a pile. I'm just gonna remember it as he was making it back there the whole time. <laughs> okay. You don't gotta tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, I think that's something you can keep to yourself. We won't get mad. Yes, probably. Yeah, yeah, I probably won't. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep that tidbit to myself as long as they stay warm. <laughs> you could just go ahead and rest on that dark knowledge by yourself. <laughs> I, get, I get my coat. I'm like, mm, smells a little right, but it's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then so along with the sending stone, he also gave you guys a. Mithril weave bag. Uh, you can add that if you want the details. Um, and he says, he he says, please do not hold the dragon star unless it's in this bag. Um, it will hurt. It is constantly emitting energy, and um, it's just not a fun time. Okay. It's a strong bag. It's basically it's like a bag. So don't, so don't touch the stone. Star. 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 Yeah. Correct. Brett, do you want to be the? Yeah, I'll take the bag. The bag. Um. Was there anything else we need to know? Like, is there any dangers on the way there? Um. Or... His. His two most trusted guardians. Um, also left to do a lighthouse adventure, uh, to which he also gave them uh, sending stones, and they were doing routine check-ins, and as about a month ago, he hasn't heard from them at all. Okay. And they were you may have to send a description of the mithril weave bag so I can put it in. I don't have... It's not an actual DNA. It's a custom item to the campaign. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is, so if we run into a monster that isn't, yeah, I might have to sit there. But uh, yeah. uh, we'll The bag doesn't actually it. hold anything, it's just it's just a special bag to hold the dragon star. If you're running Correct. it from a campaign, they usually have the monster stats at the bottom. Yeah, no, th this one, this one does. Oh, that's fucking gay. <laughs> this is a, um, actually, hold on. Do you have this site? Hold on, this will be a good site for you. Oddly. I will. Mithro weave flag. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Uh, so those two guards that he hasn't heard from in a while, were they headed towards Call or? They were, um. They were headed towards the line. So, what do you think? That round. There. Travis, I sent you a side on your chat. That's going to be basically a DM's best friend. Okay. They were going towards Putin, Shut the fuck up. They were in the. All they know. All he knows is they were in the process of investigating the lighthouse. So they were kind of headed the way that we were are planning on going as of now. Right. Yeah. The the Cult is like halfway to the lighthouse. Yeah. The light. My. I must. I misspoke. The lighthouse is twenty four miles. So Cult is halfway at twelve. Okay. Gotcha. So. And where is Putin? -ma? Off, put my what? <laughs> put the nut in your mouth. <laughs> oh, he got me. Oh. Got him. Got him. Got him. You all saw that. I, he, I got got. Yeah. He got him. He got got. All right. You got all right. Him? Yes. All right. Let's, so you guys are right, yeah. heading towards. Um, Alt right now, and he gives you, uh, he points general direction, 
And thankfully, the path is kind of weaved out by the mountains on either side and whatnot. This is very convenient terrain. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna spend my time hidden within the landscape around the party. Okay. Okay. You know, sometimes I don't really believe that fairy exists. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, but I bring you food and shit. <laughs> I, I I thought you it's the food fairy. The food we got yeah, a food fairy. Point, and he thinks that he's just like it's a weird elusive thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a thing. I just think food is naturally appearing. <laughs> this is my life. Well, I have a I. Yeah. I'm able to like forage for. I'm not convinced you're not a figment of my imagination. <laughs> I, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? We've been adventuring for almost years at this point, and mm -hmm. that's fine. That means I'm doing my job correctly. Yeah, I think we're all in a joint fever dream. <laughs> We've done this maybe twenty-five years. <laughs> so, all right. So, I'm all about rule of cool. The only thing I would say is like obviously the the fog of war shit is like kind of on, right? So mm -hmm. I could kind of fucking be like, all right, you know, you get a little bit extra, but not. Yeah. Um, if it wants to. Do it, hold on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, right, roll twenties fog of war is shit too. No, this one. Me. This one is super streamlined. Yeah, I usually use the polygon if they got it. Um, so Same. all I'll say is try not to just move your character outside the fog of war because then you won't be able to click on them. So I'll have to like find it and drag it, which isn't a big deal. It's just kind of like a bit to help. Um, and then uh, you know, if you want to move wherever, then move wherever. And you know, if someone's at a, but you know, just play the way you want to play. But if if you venture, if your character token ventures a little too far, and you think there's nothing there, but there's something there, I'll I'll make sure to let you know. And I can wave. I, uh, I'd like to use primeval awareness. Okay. Uh, what does it do? Fuck, sorry, I unplugged my mic. Uh, yeah, so primeval awareness. I'm going to use a spell slot, and I can detect within a mile if there are aberrations, <laughs> celestials, dragons, elemental fae, fiends, or undead. Ooh. And it's up to six miles if I if I'm in my favored terrain. Brother, which, ooh, which baby, I, is it? Brother, I ooh. Am. Brother, ooh. Ooh. So, I spout of autism. What do I? What do I sense? Do I? Do I sense any creatures in this Arctic? Do I see any creatures? Let me. See. That's... This would be this would be the one that's six miles. So I can detect all that bullshit within six miles. It's a pretty big span. You wanna do it as a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real possibility, Vinny? Yes. Oh my god. I've known you for twenty five years, I never knew that. Like, you didn't know I can make you a dragon. God, okay, so you must not know me. <laughs> All right, so one more time, read read out what the um what it was. Yes, sir. It... So, primeval awareness. It's a spell slot, so I expended the spell, and since we're in the Arctic, I get the the favored terrain. So I get to sense whether there are aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fays, fiends, or undead present. Great, <clears throat> Joe. 
Um, okay. I don't think this one. Um, so if so, that that right is underneath the character's uh, name essentially. Like if it was a wild bat, it would say like you know creature, right? Right underneath it, and that's what you're going off of, correct? Yes, it would be okay. a fiend. Yeah, it should be under there. So like. Like it'd be the race of the creature, correct? It would be like medium humanoid, medium beast, medium plant, medium undead, small undead, large undead, okay. large aberration type. So of if it if it is like a beast, I can't sense. Yeah, beast. you can't do beast, but dragons are literally not beasts; they are dragon. Yeah, so dragons, elementals, phase fiends, yeah. undead, aberrations are on their own thing. Yeah, undead, fiend, all those are their own things. Okay, you don't sense anything. All right, cool. Onward, I suppose. So it's um, a giant. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, um, and then real quick, he told you that uh, backpedaling just just a little bit here. The mayor would have told you that um, dragon car gets put in a dock, and he gave you this picture of what. It, Dock looks like is a human butthole. Looks like a butthole, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where is this posted? Oh, yeah. yeah, oh my god, yeah. Where is that? Where's your post? Uh, Lighthouse Tidbits. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's where we're posting tidbits. That, yeah, that's a butthole. Alright, so <laughs> I'd like to. God yeah, so it. you guys also, um, so you guys are on the map, right? Uh, yeah. You guys have now kind of discovered this little town, uh, what you can assume is cult. You've been traveling for a few days now. Um, uh, as the fog clears, you are left with the side of a ghost town. The once sprawling farm town has been frozen over. Most of the town structures have been destroyed. Wood and debris lay across a frozen waste. Land in the distance, you can see what it looks like to be a temple that the houses that houses the dragon star. The only sound you hear is the howling of rickety wood. All right, so there is your introduction to um, like, what, town. Ain't nothing fucking ominous about that. That's no. your introduction to oh, cult, shit. and this is what you see um, as the no blurry kind of lifts up a bit. Man, this place looks like shit. Yeah. Like, well, are there like any dead people around, or like? Uh, you don't see any dead people, uh, at first glance. What did I do? Um. Well, boys, the uh, fuck. Hey, I think I, uh, I think I hit a, a bad button on my uh, Albert radio thing. What? What did you do? I just I just see the Albert Rodeo screen with a dude fighting a dragon. There's like docs, blog extensions give rising. Time. Give it a time to load or rejoin on the link. Yeah, we probably. Um, what do you fuckers want to do? Okay, I'm back. Investigate some of these houses. If I remember straight. right, he fucking said something about a temple. We can check out the fucking temple right away, or... Okay, Christopher. Yeah, yeah, let's head for the temple. I will. Do you mean to roll for stealth? I'm just gonna stay like sit sitting on top of these houses. Um, no, there's no one here, so you would be fine. Okay. Are we going into the temple? I'm just gonna jump rooftop to rooftop till we get to the temple. I guess we have to go to the door, guys. The door's over here, it looks like. There's a door to the left, too. There's a front door right in front of us here. Yeah, so oh. you got you got kind of like a... So this right here is a graveyard uh, with like a little outhouse. Um, this is a temple entrance, and then you have like a, a left side kind of house attachment to it as well. There's some stairs in that left side. There's some blood and some footprints in there. Let's send it. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm not going, going in, in first. I'll, I'll go in first. This is a door, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, you open up the door. Should I, should I knock or should I just open it? Um, <laughs> it it opens. This isn't no one. You know what I mean? Like this, everything. You knock on the door and it just falls down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, okay. and as you guys kind of walk in, you feel that first first kind of uh, feeling of what the mayor was talking to you about, where where it's like you could kind of feel the dragon star. Oh, fuck. All right, I'll go straight to the ceiling. I mean, well, now let's get a sudden buzz. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm going to uh, walk over to this blood, which kind of investigate the, what's going yeah, on over here. I'd like to do an investigation on the kind of the blood, too, see what kind of happened. Um, okay. The large temple is built with. This is the. All this. We'll see what happens. Large temples. Is built with white brick, a long triangular lines of top standing at the north in bell tower. Ornate stained glass window rests above the front door. The head of the platinum dragon dragon at the center of the design. The doors themselves are made of wood adorned with the golden handles. Um, unlike the rest of the buildings, this one is not covered in ice. Instead, condensation covers the ground around it is void of snow. Warm soil covers the ground. The snow close to melting. So it's an oasis of sorts. Figure, Well, I think it's a star. Because remember, the, the star was. Uh, can I do an Arcana check to see if I can figure out where this kind of radiant, this radiant energy is coming from for the star? Uh, sure. All right. Let's do that then. Can I? I'll I'll fly up to Brett, or um. There's two blue gems in here. Is your name Vinny? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna fly up to Vinny, and give him the help action. What is that extra D4? No, it's a. You get a advantage. Oh, advantage. Okay. So let me add advantage. And then why am I not rolling? How do I roll? What the fuck? I got the. Clicked on the dice. Oh, you got like oh, there we go. 19. I was just. I right clicked to see what happened, and it just gave me this ability. So oh, I got a 23. Um, what? No, it's not crit. No, I know, but you got advantage because of the help. Yeah, I got, that's with advantage. Oh, oh, okay. Ten more. Um, where are you at? Right here. Oh, there you are, yeah. So, um, you kind of look down uh, as you're trying to gain your sense here, and you see at that corner of that green uh, carpet, some like it's almost like uh fringed those little tassels on the end are uh like singed and whatnot and as you peel it up you can see a large crack in the ground and as you put your hand over it it's warm warm and you can definitely tell that it's something underneath this temple giving off that energy it's like hey guys i think our fucking our buzz is coming from this crack in the hole crack in the floor crack in the hole crack in the floor <laughs> yeah can we see the any ocean on the what what i said the ocean underwater yeah yeah underwater. um can we look for stairs that might go into the... there's stairs in the left uh, those look like they go up though to that altar do it no no i mean like outside like by that little room oh Oh, I don't see. Yeah, I guess. Should we go here? I don't know if we're supposed to see that, but because we're not really over there. But yeah, you're not really. But I mean, you know, you you guys would have got here. Anyway. Well, before we do that, what what's the red loop next to the whale shaped bronze thing? It looks like blood and like footsteps. I'll walk over to it. 
Yeah, see, does anyone want to check that out? Or is, this the, or is this the corner that, that happened? Does it? I guess it could look like that. Somebody got dragged into that crack. Yeah. Uh, the because you rolled so high, this the blood is kind of mm -hmm. doesn't. You know that the blood and the crack are um, not correlated. Okay. Yeah, the cracks so its own thing, kind of you know going like this underneath and kind of weaved uh, gotcha. out. Gotcha. 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 So what is, is is this a body up here on the north spot next to the bronze statue? This guy right here? Yeah. No, it's just blood. Okay. What about the statue that we're looking at? Is there anything like cool about it? Um I can do a religion check on it. Yeah. I'll do a religion on it. Yeah, here. Uh let's yeah. see. For high religion? Yeah. So I have a plus zero, so if you could do that, that'd be Situation. Yep, yep, yep. I will take the advantage off, and then I will do that. So that's a 9 plus 8, 17. Um... It looks like a whale, maybe a fucked up dinosaur. You think it looks like a whale? It looks it's, like a human. So you would you would definitely know that it is um Oh, a human with his arm reaching so out. So with your that. religions check, right, you kind of think back to your the paper that you crumbled up. Right? I didn't crumple it up. <laughs> then um, I was fucking around with that. But oh, yeah. All right. Um Yeah, it's in the general. Um, your first, no, yeah, your first obtain the dragon star and cult as you read it. Uh, notice it says like they're they're a temple to Bahamut, which is what you can piece together right here that oh. the statue is Bahamut. Um, Bahamut, dragon god. Bahamut. Uh, yeah, it houses yeah. the backup dragon star. Uh, should any. Uh, all right. Well, we're fucked. We're fucked. Like this is clearly a temple to Bahamut. <laughs> well, you guys want to go fuck around with those stairs, see if we can figure out why it's so warm. Yeah, let's head down. Well, yeah, there's a there's a crack in the floor, so I mean, we I'd probably figure out what's going on with the crack here. Maybe break it open. Did you say crack? Crack. crack. Well, I want a good business walk? venture more than anybody, but yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh, All right, so you want to go check out out there? Does someone with a sword want to maybe go down the stairs first? What do we find and what do we see in the room coming to the side before we go? Uh, so that's clearly that's clearly supposed to be hidden stairs. Yeah, correct. I mean, they're like outside, it's like it's a. No, it's, it's, it's hidden. Um, uh, okay. You got, but being fighters, you guys are able to. Knock it down. Um, on the western side of the temple is a small home. It is connected to the western wall. A large metal door keeps this home secure, which is knocked down. I'm sure it want to give me a. I have check. a passive. I have a passive investigation of 15. So if anything's like below a 15 on the investigation scale, we can say we found it. But okay. Yeah. Uh, give me a uh, athletics or. Um, I'll do the athletics. I have plus nine in it. I got plus eight. You got plus eight athletics? I do. What the Sixteen. Hell, what is your fucking strength. God damn. What were the two options? Strength and athletics. Yeah. Oh, I think you're thinking acrobatics. I think you're thinking acrobatics, right? No. I think we were thinking of acrobatics too, but. Okay, so okay. no. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, just I just real quick, explain how you see Josh try to break down the door, fails, and then you break down the door. Uh, so I see this. I'm I'm guessing it looks like a a bookshelf, right? Sure. Um, I will repeat, repeatedly stab holes in it until I can carve out a hole hole small enough for people to fit through. Okay. Yes. 
with your acrobatics roll. Oh my god, god damn it. Don't look at that, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Computer froze. Alright, yeah, so those... after um, 30 minutes pass <laughs> of Noah stabbing this bookshelf. Um, I needed a good short rest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Noah is no longer cold, also. He's worked up a sweat. Or I guess this is your favorite terrain, so never mind. Yeah, and I'm going to maintain that person's agitation on my foot warmers. I might do that as well, since I have that for whatever reason. You okay. Have what the fuck? Yeah, it says at your wheel. Arcane Archer, that's right. Yeah. So, you guys are going down, correctos? Uh, yep, let's head on down. Boys yeah, I'll, I'll go I'll down first. The, yeah, I was going to say, I'll stay in the back of the group. I'll stay I'd in like the to back of I'd like so to I'd stealth. This is like, lead the way, boys. Oh. Okay. Oh, I love it's a chest. This looks like That's a puzzle. Bad. But also, what are those like little fucking dragon eggs? Or little. What is this? I don't know who Cheapy is, but I hope he came. <laughs> I hope he came. <laughs> Double meaning. Um, so, uh, as soon as you guys step down, uh, a burst of hot air hits you. The basement is hot and muggy. Not just that, but the stench of decay fills oh. the air. Oh, when you, um, when you finally make it to the bottom of the steps, you see barrels of liquor, a shelf, and a large ornate chest. Beyond that is nothing normal. Slime and sludge cover the ground. Further in, a, further in are large pulsating eggs. Each one emits an eerie orange light. Surrounding each egg are the dead bodies of the towns. Oh, fuck. Their decaying bodies cocooned in slime. The southern wall of the basement has caved in what like a large cavern rests behind it. Something rumbling. No shit. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right. Oh fuck. Slime on the floor. Slime on the floor. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at this chest. fucking slime on the floor in here. You know. Uh, so, so we fucking, uh... Is everyone from the Bronx at this point? Slime on the floor. <laughs> Motherfucking slime on the floor. I'm like Sean from fucking what we do in shadows. Anybody got some fucking water in here? Uh, I look in this chest. Okay. Did you not check for traps? What's wrong with you? What do you mean, dude? How could there be traps? Everybody's dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God. My, my thought process was pour the bottles of alcohol out on the floor to clear out the slime. Okay. I help you. Kind of, kind of wash the floors with some alcohol. Uh, give me one sec. Wait for Joshy Poo to open his chest. What's your name? I'm gonna stealth. I'm just gonna stealth. Otherwise, we could all just try and fly over it. I mean, oh except... wait! <laughs> no, it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. I'll just jump real far. No, I would just cast fly on you. Oh, oh wait, I don't got that prepared. Fucking goddamn hiccups. Never mind, I wouldn't. We could take a long rest next to the slime, <laughs> and then I'll get fly ready for you. <laughs> we all wake up high. Oh, wait, no, I could just polymorph you into a dragon. You can fly over. Yeah. I'd rather um... be like a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> A dragon might be too big for this room. It's a young dragon. Don't worry. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's nothing in the chest. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's not I locked. Um, I would have gave you something, but I'm not seeing chest related. Um, no, we're just starting out. You can get like Nine. ten gold pieces. You can kick it open. It's sure. just blank paper. You're able to uh, uh, salvage the gold trim on it and sell it for ten gold. Nice. Did you guys want to do the whole cleansing of the floor with the liquor? 
Day one, and we're already stealing copper. <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of fucking homeless men. That can I admit, I had to do the same thing. I rolled uh, 29 what is that stealth. Of fucking splugions? Okay. What? I had to do the same thing. I had to do the same thing. I want that to be the voice of splugions. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> you guys, I really like this. Okay. <laughs> I think I think we're having a good thing going here. Hey, how did y'all do the ruler thing, by the way? Uh, there should be the a right little side. like oh, a I think I figured it out. It's like a little, yeah. It's like a uh, I figured it. Out. But that is the tractor would be a half circle. That's how long my dick is. Two inches, zero foot. <laughs> I've got a point zero zero one long penis as a bird person. <laughs> I, got, I got a hundred foot penis. Um, no. What are you? What are you attempting to do? Stealth. And, okay. And what are you attempting? I think just to be invisible at this. No, point. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just staying invisible. I'm gonna try and get down these barrels and try and clear out some of this splooge on the floor. I'll help try to clean the splooge as my name is Splugeons. All right. So what are you uh, doing? You're you're gonna. I want to kind of. I kind of want to dump the barrels out onto the slime. Okay. To fucking see if I can dissipate it out, so it's not just like. I don't. I don't know if it's like poison or something. I just want to fucking get rid of it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna my character is gonna sit on the ceiling. Stealth. Okay, so you're on the ceiling. Let me get this right. You're on the ceiling. The th are the three of you trying to break the barrels open, fill the liquids out? Yeah, I want to get like one barrel out and then try and fucking, you know, fucking yeah. use it, maybe like pop a hole in it and then use it to like kind of just spread on the floor to fucking get the slime out of there. Are you talking about the green slime on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, like I ain't walking through that shit. Yeah. Okay. What what Maybe method do you want to use to um, leather shoes <laughs> to open the barrel? Uh I, I can mean, just I could... Yeah, you want to just pop a hole in it with your fucking sword or something? Yeah. I want to like try to stab it like right here. Like on the, on the bottom top. of it. I give it like a spout at the bottom. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right. So uh, you puncture the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, from like here. Just um, walk up to it and kind of poke it. And then I guess Biddy and I could try to pick it up together and pour it out accordingly. I, no, are I you do doing it? Too strong. Are you doing it in a stealthy manner, or are Me? you? Yeah. No, I kind of just walked up to it. Just kind of went for it. Okay, give me a. Uh... Do a pose. Oh, there should be an AC of it, maybe. Right? No, not the barrel. Oh, oh, okay. The creature living in it. Gotcha, really? gotcha. Uh, these were just ball barrels of liquor. Sixty bears. Surprise! I'm pouring out of this barrel. Owl bears. It's <laughs> raccoons pour out by the millions. <laughs> Over 100 millions. Okay, so all right, um, you puncture a hole in one barrel, and the liquor starts to pour out. Okay. Can we kind of like aim it towards the green splooge? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, the man. green splooge starts to. Dissipate and kind of stream itself um, you know, further down. We'll say with the one barrel, you're able to kind of dissipate right here. These three guys a little further down here. Okay. Do we know that the alcohol is like going to some type of drain, or is it just kind of puddling? Like it's put. Yeah, puddling? it's puddling. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll say we'll say the um, yeah, the this line right here is your um. Kind of put motherfucker, dude. Goddamn pen. <laughs> yeah, even though we did that, I'm still gonna hop on my broom and fly over it. Yeah, so this blue line kind of is like you know the the 
a centimeter or two of uh, liquor that Alan. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm gonna hop on my broom and sit on it, but like fly at it sideways, like I'm sitting in a chair. Is this the the this is the broom you drew earlier, broom right? Flying. Yeah. Okay. So, did the eggs or anything change when the slime got affected by the alcohol, or did we see any rattling or? Um, nothing has changed so far. Should we poke one of the eggs, guys? Uh, let's do an investigation on the eggs. I'll do an investigation on the egg. This egg over here. My investigation is pretty high. Mine's plus, plus nine. Mine's plus one. <laughs> <laughs> plus four. So yeah, I'll do the. Uh, I'll. Mine's I'll minus see. one, so I think I should do. <laughs> I can't. What? Well, what? Well, I don't know. Are these do these eggs seem like magical in nature? Should I do like an arcana or an investigation? Um. The. So the eggs, I don't know, like uh, oh, Josh spots, would know, kind of the Githyanki eggs, the red kind of things. They're kind of like vined into the ground. They're kind of rocky, yeah. boulder looking, but they all emit a orange glow. Uh, no, you can't know as well. You played BG3. Uh, yeah. You, I mean, they're just like, they almost look like boulders that have like fucking lava kind of emitting from inside through like the porous holes on the shells. Okay. Githy Yankee, huh? Uh, do you think that maybe we should try to clear the rubble out and go back that way? Or do you think, I mean, do you think that we're going to end up getting fucked if we try to open up or waking up? I, I, I kind of want an egg. Oh, how big are these? Um, Brett, also, your, you said your passive perception was what? Passive investigation is 15. Passive perception is 11. Your... You wouldn't need to roll to feel that the um, kind of what you felt underneath the, and you guys definitely all feel this too, that um, kind of pulsating warmth feeling grew stronger as you guys came lower into this temple area. Brett, I like Fucking this. send it. Let's just go. Like, fuck these eggs. Let's go. I, I, I kind of want an egg, but fuck. All right, if you want to go. I mean, are the eggs like too big to pick up, or I mean? Yeah, how big are, are these eggs? We'll call them about a hundred and twenty, thirty pounds. Okay, guys, let's fuck these. Eggs. Let's fuck that. Let's go. That's too big to carry. <laughs> I'll fly over to the rubber. I off. simply cannot carry. <laughs> I mean, I could put it on the broom, but uh, fuck it. I'm gonna fly over to the other side of the room. Yeah, I flew over to that. Wait a minute. Do I need to pick up Boulette? Like, do we want to walk? Oh, wait. Down? Yeah, Boulette. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I jump. Well, actually, from, what I'm going to do. Oh, wait, hold I on. jump from here to, to here. I got a better idea. Boulette. I'm going to fucking jump it. No, I'm going to hop off my broom once we get to the end of the room. And then I'm going to send my broom to you. My broom can go travel alone to a destination within one mile of me. So okay. I'm going to say, I'm flying here. And it's going to fly right over there. Okay, and I'm gonna fly it back to you. Yep. Or it's, or it's gonna fly me back to you. I and guess. I'm gonna say, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm flying here again, and it'll fly you back to me. All right, let's fucking go. Boom. So you guys are all at the south of the yeah, where yes. this rubble is, right? Yeah, we yeah. all just kind of flew over all the fucking messy gunk. Yeah. As you guys kind of walk up, um, you. Almost like your peripherals go a little bit darker, and some hair stands up on back of your neck, and some tingling just rides up your back as like that gut feeling something's off. As the eggs kind of glow a little bit brighter, and you hear like a like a sinister snaky voice that says, um, "Hmm." More travelers to feed on. And as you hear that, the um, rock wall in front of you kind of burst open with this immense force. Uh, everyone's going to roll a constitution save and throw. Fucking dick. And oh, piss.
23 for old Splooge. 19. 19. Oh, wait, no, no, five. I wrote a five. Fuck. 25. Uh, I'm going to spend a luck point. Probably a good idea. And add a d20 to that, so. Nine. <laughs> Great. Okay, so those that didn't succeed on a 15 are going to take a d8 of um, the box. Uh, Damo here. From the okay. so Brett gonna get nine and who was or my, my bad uh three and who was, was the other say, one D eight how did I get nine <laughs> I was twenty three and uh, Josh what was yours twenty five uh, Noah you succeeded I think right nineteen okay so yeah Brett is the only one so you guys were able to kind of like last second. Just do a light, a little my, uh, you know, matrix kind of, uh, dancey dance. Right my suit. And uh, <laughs> yeah, as Brett was saying something in his Christopher Walken voice, uh, he just gets <laughs> pegged right in the mouth with a fucking brick. And uh, <laughs> and and the rest of the party member for once had a, you know, a, a you know, a time to not hear that voice. Okay, so um. <laughs> So the wall explodes as that voice says more travelers to feed on. That shock rolls up your spine. Big explosion. And um, so as this kind of cavern opens up, once the uh, smoke from the rubble starts to settle and you know, make your vision a little bit clearer, Looking in here. I'd like to notch an arrow. Okay. Arrow is notched. Um, Josh, you want to go to Roulette? You want to go ahead and uh, walk through? <laughs> yeah, dude, I got it under control. I'm going to take out my uh, my mace of disruption and start, uh, start walking forward. Am I, I still walk. stealthed? Um... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I would say you're still stealth just because it sensed whatever it was sensed people. However, they didn't have eyes on. I mean, it was a obvious a, a rock wall and Okay. Actually, you know what? I usually um, do whatever the creature's passive perception is versus their fucking This one I, I'm yeah, I'm looking. So we are going to roll me a stealth check. An opposed stealth check there, uh, no half. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I keep unplugging my fucking mic. How do you do that? How? Yeah, so easily. Uh, it has a... Well, it gets wrapped up around my fucking chair here's what i would, i would just not do that but just not do 24 that. damn that's fucking dick you rolled a 24 yes okay all right so you you're good right now right i would say right now you're good and that's that's all i'll say do we have any eyes on the enemy Can we roll a perception for that? For that. Well, it's kind of it's it's plain sight. It's not hard to see. There's three um kind of these pillars in front of you, and um it's hard to tell. I mean, you could assume it went into one of these, right? Because it's just kind of like a dome cavern. Uh, but with all the smoke from the dust um everywhere in the air, um it doesn't really leave a trace of which one it may have went in. Does, oh, shit. does the let me look I used that earlier that ability to detect shit what the fuck oh yeah so that lasts for Hmm. 
Never mind. It's just one minute. Okay. So, what's next? All right. So, um, are you guys doing anything in this first kind of few seconds of this explosion? Uh, I know Walt already notched an arrow. Mm -hmm. I will. You're remaining stealth, stealth, Noah. Okay. Yes. Gosh, are you doing anything? I took my mace out and started just walking forward. Where are you at here? Uh, okay, so, yep, I see you right there. All right, so... Um, come to take my dragon stone. Huh? Did I think it's a star, sir? <laughs> stone star, the... same uh, okay. I was just making sure we were all. Like, I beg to differ, but okay. <laughs> sure, it's not a dragon chart. Literally just ah, a dragon. Sure so sorry. Oh. Mm. Quit being a pussy and come out. <laughs> I mean, and seriously. he taunts. What? You're the fighter in the front saying, Why don't you take some more? Why don't you just fucking show yourself and then we can put this goddamn charade aside? Um, I want to take out my sunblade actually instead of my mace. Hold on. I'm gonna give I've seen Dodge this in anime. The it's where they call out their finishing move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me just walk into here so you can up, down, up, down, left, right, A, B, C, D. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that's the Konami. Co I know that one. <laughs> yeah. um, can I see anything from here? You can so you see the whole dome in its entirety right here. Oh, but we just hear the voice. We don't see anything at all. No. Oh, fucking shit, guys. Um, Can I look up? Is he in the oh. air? He's turtle heading. <laughs> it, what the you... ceilings are. Uh, yeah, g give me a um, a perception check, real quick. All of us are just Joshy. No, just oh. Josh. Oh, I have plus three perception. Oh, hey, natural whoa. 20. 20. That's 20. You for sure know he's not up on the ceiling. Oh, fuck. Okay. You guys think this is like... Does he... Does he can he tell how high the ceilings are? With a net 20, yeah. Can we fly in here or what? Yeah, yeah the ceilings... So we'll say that, right, the... 140 feet wide, the ceilings are about half, so 70, 70 feet. Okay. Uh, we just think we're messing with here. Like, he's talking to us and stuff, but we don't see him. Uh, and as head. you guys are just kind of, like, trying to figure out what's going on, he raises... Um, You see the dragon star kind of come... These... these these are like ant hills, right? Like um, ant pillars. They're like, you know, they're many feet wide and many feet tall. And you see the dragon star kind of start to elevate out of this one right here. Probably press the digitation, guys. Confusion. And he says, is this what you're looking for? No, it is not. We're looking for the real one, you sly fuck. <laughs> you sly fuck. Um, you see I'm just gonna keep walking forward. Oh my god, you're crazy! All right, let's do this. Fuck, jeez. All right, we're in it. Fuck this guy. I'm fine. Arrow notch. So for reaction, I should be good. Just keeps. I I guess we just keep fucking like snuggling up in here. Yeah, yeah. I mean you're like, right now. Creeping. You just uh, you know this this dragon star is kind of just elevating like half of it is kind of sticking out you see it uh it's almost like a black hole right like a a black fucking hole just like out in outer space you see this like kind of gold flame aura around it can i like loop around this way while looking for traps like you could this, this is dnd you could do whatever you want that's, yeah that's what, that's what i want to do i'm gonna say stuck to the ceiling how big like is the stone it's, I would say like you know like um, like basketball size. Oh, you, how big are these holes? Um, big enough. Like basketball rim sizes. <laughs> no, no, it, um, they're bigger. They're bigger than that. They're they're not 
accurate, but they're bigger than that. I would say they're I would say they're several feet wide in diameter. Okay. Okay. Like 10, eight, yeah, yeah, there two. you go. There you go. 10, 10, 15 feet. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's cool with me. All right. Do that, that changes my idea then. Uh I guess let's see what happens when he moves around like that. Yeah, I wanna I wanna loop around this way while checking for traps. Um Just kinda go between these two anthills. It's like you guys are doing a great job. <laughs> and as you do, Josh, the dragon star disappears and then pops up over here. Uh, so we're just playing whack-a-mole is what we're figuring out. That fucking trap, bro. And as it appears, it kind of elevates a little bit more in the air, right? And as it's getting pushed up in the air, you see like a black or a, a blue tail that's kind of um, caressing it, pushing it up in the air in like a little... And like a little, you know... To the students below us, yeah. Okay. A little like dancing cobra fashion, like... Shoot the tail. I wonder how he can touch it without getting fucked up, but if we touch it, we get... Oh, by the way, Brett's the one, or Vinny's the one with the fucking special bag to put that in, so don't, Vinny, yeah. don't grab it unless you have the bag. Um, oh, fuck, I forgot about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my crossbow out and shoot the tail. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, the... Uh, he's he's hold, uh, he's holding it um about I'll say like fifteen twenty feet in the air. Okay. Shoot that fucking tail, dog. How far am I? Uh, yeah. I roll her out. You are roughly about twenty feet. Yeah. Twenty. Hey, Bula, I also have magic idol, uh, arrows that can hit. Is that uh, disadvantage range crossbow? Uh, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. It is. This I... You need to be at least 60 feet, I think. It's 80 for is what my 5e e team Damn. says. Can... I would like to try to... Are you okay with me just changing my mind instead of doing that? Because I forgot those. Well, advantage. you haven't rolled to attack, so absolutely. Okay. I want to try to run up and stab him with my sword. Okay. Like, real fast, right in the tail. All right. Uh, Yeah. Do a... Uh, roll to, roll to attack, or roll to hit, I mean. Do we want to get initiative going? Nope. That's a crit. Oh, 19. Oh, yeah, he yeah. crits on a fucking 19 as a champion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. So, go, roll, roll for demo. Okie dokie. Do we get double it? Hit on, yeah, double. Is that how we're playing? Double damage. <laughs> Double damage or double dice? Uh, double dice? It's 12. It's 1d8 plus 5 is what the longsword is, so 24 damage total. Nice. If it doubles. Right. Are we doing double damage? Is that how it is? Yeah, so we'll, we'll double... Would you guys rather double damage or double the dice? Double, double damage is double damage is more fun. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll do ammo. Because double dice, you get like a twelve and then like a one. <laughs> still, yeah, still roll two ones. Yeah. Have any of y'all ever done like the 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 twenty and the one like table, like the fumble yeah. table? I've seen that's that. Yeah, and that's how we've played before. It's pretty cool. You hit them yeah, first. It's not gonna be very hard. What'd you 24. hit for? Twenty four damage. Like, if you roll an 8 on a d8, you roll again. If you roll another 8, you roll again. If you roll another 8, you roll again. Okay, so <laughs> as um, Josh and... Yeah, fuck that. Uh, I'm, I'm not even bothered with games right now. But Josh, as you... Uh, how are you attacking this thing? Uh, I run up and just try to, like, slash his tail. And so... All right, so you see Josh. Everyone else kind of sees Josh... Um, Pretty much like I'm done with this fucking dude. Um, whatever this is, fucking playing with us. And out of you know boredom, Josh runs up and strikes this blue tail. And as you do so, you are engulfed in a um a fire, like a small little fire, and you are going to be set ablaze temporarily and take a little damage from that. Okay. 
he made contact with the mate or the sort whatever he hit with, he ended up causing a fire. So you're going to take 11 damage. Yes, right when Josh hit it, you could see Josh kind of go up in a ball of flame real quick um, oh. as he gets scorched upon impact of his of his uh, dagger or whatever you um, hit him with. I, I am dragonborn, and I'm a red dragon. So fire does half damage to me. Okay, so you're going to take uh, uh, five damage. Round down five. Hell yeah. Dude. Josh is coming in, or Boulet is coming in clutch. Crit rolls. Okay, and okay. with that, everyone <laughs> else roll initiative. Or everyone oh, yeah. roll initiative. Do you want me to roll initiative as well, or am I just kind of in the spot? Uh, you'll roll initiative, but you're, you're, you'll um, come in next round. Okay. I have a seven. I'm going to go grab a pod real quick. I'll be like, in seconds. 14 for Splugeon. A little 23 action. Ooh, for me. All right, hold on. That was 23. Bolt is what? 14. He is. Brett? 10. Uh, did Josh roll? I think he said he was going to pee or do something. He's getting uh, a pod or whatever. Fucking... Pod or pee or Okay, pie. we'll wait for his roll then. Yeah, he's going to pie, pee, or pod. One of the things. Or he just said fuck it and started smoking weed. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll initiative there, Josh. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, Noah, you see this tail um, as Josh just struck it. It is your go. What are you, what are you doing? Alright, so I will it's at this <laughs> anthill right here where josh is at right uh that's you see a tail um about 10 20 feet up is it like a tail or is it more, more like army or like it, it looks like a tail to us it's a tail okay all right so i'm gonna use the i'm gonna use cunning action as a bonus action and give myself a hundred feet of movement. So I am going to fly in and I will attack. Which there's there's a lot going on here. So when I attack and there's not another enemy within five feet, I can pretty much I get three attacks. Okay. And these are all at plus nine. So let me do this. Boom, boom, boom. How are you hitting him? Uh, with a rapier. Oh, remember, Josh ended up having to take damage every time he started the time. One, two, yeah. three. I think hitting him with a melee makes you get burnt. Something. So. Those are your three those... attack rolls? Oh, no, that. Should, that should have been to hit. Do I need to roll those separate? I'm not. I'm not familiar with this. Yeah. So oh, you would man. roll if you're hitting them th thrice times. Each attack would need its own. Um, unless your description says something else, would need uh, a 14. So 14. Okay. First one misses. Okay. 22. Hits. And then and also I get to apply sneak attack. The nineteen, another attack. So Yeah, the nineteen was your third roll to hit, correct? <coughs> correct. Okay, so, so two attacks. Do the 19 hit? Yeah, 19 hit. Alright, so now I do 2d8 plus 7 and 1 since this is the first turn that I attacked I get to add an additional d8 it's a Dreadstalker 
So we'll do. Where the fuck are? Uh, so three d eight plus seven to two of them. How do I do that? Do I just add fourteen? I guess hmm? so. For what? The damage. You can roll three damages and add all the pluses. So, if you're at plus like seven and you're doing two attacks, you can add plus fourteen. Just fourteen, sense. regardless. So, twenty-five. Thirty-nine. And then. No, twenty-five with the rolls. I get, uh, to sne- I get to sneak attack as well. So two d sixes. Twenty six. It's thirty six altogether. God damn. Is that the damage dealt? That is damage dealt. And I will spend the rest of my movement. How much did I spend to get there? About well, you had a hundred and you were somewhere right here, weren't you? Yeah, about yeah. seventy. Hmm. 70 to 60. We're about, yeah, you were, I would say 60. We'll say. So you got 40, you got 40, you got 40 left. All right, yeah, so I'll just bug out. I'll fly up. Um, hold. 10 and then out. So you hit him twice, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. I did. Oh, one missed. Only two. Oh, one missed, though. Okay. And also, I do not provoke opportunity attacks. Okay. Um, before you flee, uh, on your two last hits, you are engulfed in a fiery blaze. Okay. For 23 damage. Oh. Is, is that a opportunity attack, or is that that's just like you just take I think it's just for it. touching him. Yep. She. And you um, attacked him so quick, you're, you, after your second one, you had no time to really think about that. You're, you hit him with the second, you win a blaze, but you were already in motion for your third attack. And uh, you got double burnt on that third hit uh, before kind of backing off um, and bounding that 30 feet you just did. Okay. So, is that additional damage? That's total damage to you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll pass. Uh... Pass the turn. Actually, let me. Do I have a full bonus action? I already used it. Isn't sneak attack? Or is... no, I don't know. No, sneak attack's not a bonus action when you're a swashbuckler. Uh, okay. Just want to make sure I don't have like a reaction. All right, yeah, I'll pass go. Do not collect two hundred. <clears throat> okay, that ends your turn. Yes. As you're backpedaling that thirty feet, each step you take, you can kind of feel that ground shaking and tremoring. Oh, I'm flying. You can see. All right. <laughs> how? Well, how? How? So did you? So you flew at what height? Uh, He's you're 10 say, feet. You're 10 feet. Sure. 10 feet and 30 feet away. 10 feet, yeah. I did. I said 10 feet up and 30 feet away. 10 feet up and 30 feet away? Got it. So you Good see point. the ground tremoring. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, you were flying right over its path as it breaks through the ground right here and it's going to make a bite attack towards you and 
Yes, and let me. What's this fucker look like? Do you any of you guys have like? I guess we have to wait for the description. But anyone have? Oh God! <laughs> of what we're doing. The um, fuck is that? That's just a token, though. Remember. Um, yeah. Here, let me. Um, Looks like this one. is a huge creature. Yes, yeah. it is. It is of substantial size. Oh fuck! Do you guys think has anyone dealt with anything like this before? A couple times, but all of our travels. Oh, <laughs> in our travels, <laughs> in our travels, in our travels. Um, and I'll do my best to kind of give y'all an idea of what you're working with. Uh, so I sent in the Discord under Lighthouse Tidbits, um, what you are seeing as okay. Um, this uh, blue centipede millipede uh, monstrosity uh, that is huge. Uh, kind of um, glowing red in its eyes. Um, you definitely know that this thing has tremor vision uh, by the accuracy at which it is making its attack on its last uh, attacker. As it lunges out of the ground, burst of rocks and debris fly everywhere as um, Noah's fairy is flying 10 feet in the air. This thing's mouth, this, its maul opens up so wide, um, I mean, about 10 Noah's long could, could hit from top to bottom of its maul. And it is going to make a bite attack. Well, you. here, I think I will use my oh. readied spell. Okay. All right, Noah, I'm going to polymorph your ass. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. Does your readied, so your readied spell, is, you were already readying it, correct? Yes. Okay. I did it prior to, that's what I yeah, was saying, hey, I want to ready a spell. Okay. All right. You see this huge blue fucking thing open its maw, and it's about to chop Noah. I want to turn Noah into a young sapphire dragon. <laughs> what? Oh, is <laughs> Why didn't we turn the thing into something? <laughs> Why didn't we turn yeah, it into you, like a... It's all dark now with the walls, so I can't see. Um, all right, so you're turning him into, do you, the, what do you I have? have a stat block for it. Well, yeah, he's going to need it, but does, yeah. does, is it automatic or do you have to succeed? Uh, it's automatic if he is willing. I'm willing. <laughs> I swear. That's what the lawyers are going to say. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> he signed a consensual, everyone signed a consensual form. I'm cool me. with it. I okay, swear. so, um, <laughs> all right, yeah, so uh, send yeah, the so stat I, block to me too, just so I can see it real quick. Uh, I sent it into the general chat. Okay. So I'm a dragon now? I think you, you put it in the lighthouse way. tidbits. Did I put it in lighthouse tidbits? My bad. Yeah, I think so. 403 oh, forbidden. Yeah. Forbidden. Oh, 403 forbidden? Really? Yeah. You could just uh, screen clip it, like screenshot it. Here, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> That's Do I even want to be a yellow dragon? I'm scared right now. Young Sapphire. Sapphire. As the suspense. Also, you're young, dude. You're gonna be so agile. The suspense oh, no. of Noah about to get swallowed whole, or actually bit down on by this fucking thing. Yeah, I already took the damage. Here, try what? that one. Out. What no? That one into bits. I already took the damage, right? You didn't take the no. damage from the bite. No, not yet. I did this prior to attack hitting. Oh, nice shit. Okay. See what this. Oh, that's a terrible one. 
honestly. <laughs> oh, thanks. Dude, every time I like go to another window and try to come back, it like kicks me. I have to rejoin and it opens a new window. Mine did that for a minute, but it kind of stopped recently. So, uh... all right. So Noah is a young sapphire dragon right now, correct? <laughs> uh, yeah. He should immediately turn into a young sapphire dragon. All right. So a large dragon is lar large is smaller than huge yes it would be like a i think it's 15 by 15 okay large. um average is what we call it <laughs> okay so here we go Uh, yeah, lo no, sorry, large is 10 by 10, so four squares. Huge is 15 by 15. So that's what that... Wait, so I am didn't take that previous damage, or... You haven't... No, he's not even hit to, rolled to hit yet. Yeah, right now you're still suspended in the air with this centipede about to maul down on you as you are spontaneously sure. turned into a, a dragon. Okay. Um, Dude, all these stat blocks are fucking terrible. They does a 24 so hit? 17 natural armor. It sure does. Uh, I believe yes. it or not, it probably doesn't. It does. No? I, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Shut the fuck up, guys. It doesn't. So, one, two. Why does that link not work? What, what the doing? fuck? Oh my god. I, I'm dying to pieces over here. You have 157 health. You're good. Oh, that's why he did it. <laughs> <laughs> and when you go down from that 157, you regain your normal hit points. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a druid wild. Okay, so basically. Noah's going to take 61 piercing damage. Plus, call me Nosha. Seventeen fire damage on top of that. Nosha. Uh, correct. Uh, you could make the. I don't know if this dragon has um resistance. Yeah, I'll look. The sapphire. So I think uh, I think those are fire, right? Or those eyes. They're more of a ground dragon. That's why yeah, I gave it to him because he can it's... tunnel. Yeah. I I mean, uh, resistance is lightning and thunder, so no, no resistance to fire. No resistance. Okay. You got to think about it. He's like an electric Pokemon at this point. So or like a ground Pokemon. 61 piercing, Noah, plus 17 fire. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to take 78 total damage. Uh, from fight. So you go from 157 to minus 78. Sure. <laughs> Hold on, Noah, here. I think it's 79. Let me pull up a calculator and... No, can you access that? I think I just sent you. Yeah. Alright, go to the... Go to... to, 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 to. Okay, y'all do that. Um, yeah, Noah, yeah. real quick, you are also going to be um, grappled in midair as you fumble back to the ground uh, with this centipede that is wrapped around you now. I don't think he consented to that. And you are now restrained. Hmm. I think I have... Oh, fuck. No, I don't. And that will be the end of its turn with Walt next in the shoot. Okay.
go to the bestiary on that first page I sent you, Nona. And then just type in, search for Young Sapphire Dragon. It'll be easy. Are you guys waiting on me at this point? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Uh, do you guys think that his charisma is that high? <laughs> he doesn't look very charismatic. Well, that's what I was the genuine question. But. I would be willing to guess his charisma is not very high. Okay, so I'm going to roll to shoot an arrow. And that's going to be plus 11. So. Button. All right, so does a 17 hit? 17 will hit. Okay, so I hit him with a banishing arrow, which to make a 12 or higher on his a charisma saving throw. Okay, and what happens if he fails? He's if banished. He well, yeah, so he must succeed on a 12 or be banished. While banished, the target speed is zero and it's inca incapacitated. At the end of its next turn, it will reappear in the space it's vacated or on the nearest unoccupied space if that space is uh, occupied. Plus 2d6 force damage on hit. Okay, so let me roll the charisma. So he needs to beat what? 12. 12? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Does he have minus one? Does he have minus one? Uh, minus doesn't matter what the minus is. For his charisma save, does it not? Hey, you don't need to know. He fails it. He failed he, it? He failed charisma. That's what oh. I was... I, I just saw the 12, so I was just hoping yeah, it was I, I gotta, a negative uh, number. No, I know, I, I know you're, you're staying sneaky, but I just, didn't, I just didn't know if he failed it or not. Yeah, I don't... I'll, I'll let the... I'll let you what the stats are in your mind but he failed yeah. it so he's uh okay, right, so Walt, he's banished in place no movement and what uh that's just the first part of my turn but what does that mean as far as the star that was there yeah so josh being right there and eh, no can't do it the I'll give you one shot, Josh, okay. with disadvantage, dexterity. Okay. I need I need at least a eighteen on dex to grab this star before it falls into the tunnel thing, because okay. it is the thing is ten feet in the air, and it's another ten feet being held up by the tail. So once banish, it will start to fall, and it's right. one of those like you have to be on it to get it. So I'll give you an 18 if you can hit dex. So I'm using my dex modifier, and then rolling disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 18. Uh, I got an 18. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so explain how you're catching this Death Star, Dark Star. <laughs> um, I'm going to kind of like run up the anthill, and I'm going to use the like the handle of my sword, the bottom of it, to kind of like pop it and then catch it, and then lower it to the ground quickly. Okay. All right. So Josh now has the um, Dark Star, Dragonborn Star, whatever the fuck it's called, Dragon Star. Um, and and the centipede is now banished, right now. All right, go ahead, Walt. Okay, so if it's banished and Joshy Poo has it, I would like to. Uh, I think who, Brett's next in the or uh, Vinny's next, right? Yep. Yep. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and forego the rest of my stuff and tell Vinny to go wrap that bitch in his little bag that he has. 
because we have until the end of the next dragon monster's turn to get the fuck up out of here with that star and hopefully be scot free at this point, or at least most of us. The red. Okay. To go maybe wrap that thing up in the special bag. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, how do, run me through that banishment again. How does that work exactly? He won't be Is back it, till the end of its next turn. It won't be back uh, it's till next, its next turn. Okay. Yeah. No, not its next. The end of its next turn. So he won't even get to make a move before okay. he comes back, and then he gets back into regular initiative. Okay. Right. Shit. Damn. So we get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. Which is like out of here. Noah get the fuck away from where you're at because he's gonna come back where he's at, at currently where he disappeared from. So I'd say Noah needs to get move on out and Yeah. I'm grappled. Sure. Alright, so in that case oh, wait, is he still grappled grappled you're not no? grappled because he's banished, which means he's on another astral plane pretty much. Right. Uh yeah. Right? Well definitely get well, the fuck one out more of time. The description says he's he goes he, to, so he goes into uh <laughs> Let's fucking go, Walt. That's our King Archer oh, banishing man. arrow. He goes, yeah. yeah, he goes into another plane other than ours, and or be banished. He is from another he just, plane. He, he just twiddles his thumbs. I want to hear yeah. what he he said because you said he's restricted on movement. What's the rest of that? So here's the exact description: a creature hit by your arrow must succeed on a chaw saving throw D DC twelve or be banished. While banished. The target speed is zero and it's inca incapacitated. And at the end of its next turn, the target will re reappear in the space vacated or in the nearest unoccupied space. If the space is occupied, and then it says a plus two d six force damage on hit, which I didn't roll, but okay, yeah, you can roll that as well. And so, yeah, he's on a different astral plane, so you're you're not restrained anymore. There, no. All right. A DC two DC six plus what was it? No, just two D six. So the first one will be a one sick. Fucking sick. Let's go. Okay. And the second one will be a two. Three go. Plus there we three go. Plus big numbers, yeah. baby. Big numbers. Keeping me from carrying this goddamn team. All right. So but yeah, that's the end of my turn, and we'll let B Rick uh, or uh, Vinny go ahead and start up. Yeah, so if I got to get to him before his next turn, which is. I just did. Should be doable, right? Because you can cruise. What's movement speed of the magic broom? What? Movement speed? What's the speed, moving speed of the broom? Oh, that's a good idea, but. uh. It's 50 feet, though, so I won't be able to get to him in time, but hey, I can. The, right? No, he's, to... he's 80 feet away right now. You could dash, yeah. though, yeah? Yeah, 50 and he's then... 80 feet, and my movement feet's 30. But I, what I will do is I will cast haste on myself so I can double dash. Without expelling an action? Or... Give it to... I'll use two actions, essentially, to dash. Does haste not increase movement speed as well? It allowed no, it does not. It just allows for an extra action, which you can use for dash. I think it does in Baldur's Gate. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. It's probably cut. Yeah, it's that's what it is. Is like yeah, you can fucking essentially you're adding extra fucking okay. yeah more actions. Oh no, yeah. never mind. The target speed is doubled. You're right. Sorry. I so I can run to you dash. I so I can dash 120 feet now. Yeah. So I'll get to you. And your AC is up too, right? Yeah, so I'll dash, I'll dash two, get to you, fucking, uh, put the fucking orb in the bag, and fucking Dragon star. star in the bag. All right, so the I star will... in the bag is going to be an action. Okay, star in the bag is an action, and then that will give me another. So I used eighty, so I get another forty. So I'll go head back that way then. So yeah, I'll head forty feet that way. Okay. All right, that'll be my turn. And then, if I was playing super strict, I would say that Josh's deck save on the star was his action, but you can still do what you need. 
Josh, I'll let it. So I don't have a dash, is what you're saying? Yeah, minus dash. Yeah. Okay. So I just don't have an action, but I can still move. You can move. Yes. I would say your dexterity save to capture the star was yeah. your main action, but you're still free to move. Okay. I'm going to use my movement. I think that's fair. Go. I think that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it would cost an action to be able like to react to that like in real time. Yeah. That's so fair. I'm going to use my 30 feet to go here. I'm sure you don't want to go on the other side of that anthill. <laughs> well... You know, well, he doesn't get a turn when he comes back. Like, we all get another yeah, turn, right? Yeah, that's true. But we yeah. don't know if he, uh, what's it called? Attack Mike can now move 240 feet, apparently. You think that attack of opportunity is this far? I don't know. He's a crazy ass monster. <laughs> I guess that's true. I could always just disengage in my next turn. The opportunity attack is five feet. Just always. like all the way around? Yes. Bro. I know in Baldur's Gate, if you had like certain weapons, your attack of opportunity was like yeah, doubled. There's, cer there's certain feats and weapons that allow for that if they have ten foot range. Let's just hope this guy doesn't have that. I'm just gonna run. He could be legendary Pokemon. We don't know. <laughs> All right, so I use uh, my turn. Okay, Noah. No, Noja. Noja, get the fuck out of there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> run, run. Uh, I will use. Remember, you're that dragon, so I think you have more movement. Oh, shit balls. Thanks, God. Your ass bad. cheeks are a little bloody. Your, dra <laughs> your dragon butt. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, shit. I can move 80. Uh, that's nice. Do you have any cool actions to pr even make that further? Or, or Well, 80 will get you out of the room, yeah. And you probably yeah. dashed, too. Oh, wait, hold on. Before you do that. What? Do, do dragonborns can some of them fly or? You're not a dragon them? anymore. I'm not. No. Sorry, I should have told. You. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're not a dragon anymore. I concentrated on haste, so you're not a dragon now. Nice. Uh, yeah, good call. Nice. Good look there, Brett. So, what's your movement speed, Noah? Noja. Forty right now. Can you dash or whatever and get the fuck up out yeah, of there? I can. But I may just move here and do. hold an action. Oh, good idea, I guess. Uh, uh, right now, because even when he comes back, he doesn't like it's. We still have a whole nother turn before he can act on us. Why would you hold an action just to be ready to attack for the next turn? Yeah. I would the next well. Turn. Yeah. Holding an action and, and essentially you can hold it at for any point in the initiative if I'm correct, right? I could I yeah. can hold spells too. But I mean like Which are actions, out. right. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, like so you, you can kind of use it later. Can, so holding an action, like think of like you know a goblin's coming around a corner, so you'll hold a notched bow at the ready and the second it peeks around, you automatically fire. I like to see it as you're turning an action into a reaction. Yes. Okay. Because right. like you cool. can hold it, and then if that thing reappears and tries to attack someone, he can jump the initiative line and come back in. Uh, yeah, I've never played that way. That's cool. But no, I wouldn't do that right now because you. <laughs> but anyway, it's cool, but don't do it. <laughs> we all have another turn before this thing can attack us. Yeah, and I think we're just boot scooting boogieing on out of here, right? Damn right, I'm trying to. <laughs> Alright, yeah, fuck it. Just dash and get the fuck out of the room, dude. Additional 40. One thing to keep in mind, guys, is, is notice there's cracks in this smaller room, and we notice that there was a crack in the bigger room. I'm now beginning to think these eggs might be spawns of this centipede thing. Um, so, keep that in mind. Oh. Uh... Yeah. No, well, right. when no, well, when you let's do um something real quick. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, as you reach back through here, 
Um, yes. The noise, the fussling, the screaming, the shouting, the clinking, the clanking. Uh, one of these eggs uh, starts to explode open. Um, little little fire embers emerge um, as it kind of blows open, and the baby um, of what you're just fighting appears. Good call, Walt. All right. Well, I shit my pants. <laughs> Is that an action? Yeah. <laughs> and that's a reaction. <laughs> reaction. A reaction. Poop my pants. Instinct. <laughs> okay. All right, so. I like to use my cock. You already used both your actions, right? Yeah. I'll yell to the rest of the party, like, uh, get the fuck out! <laughs> We've got to get out of here. <laughs> so, this thing shits out. And. What? I mean, do you have an, another attack? Like, the actions do you get with your. Me? Like, um, no, I've, I've fucking blown them all. Oh, okay. Well. Chill out, then. Maybe hide. Can you hide? <laughs> is that isn't that an action as well? Oh, it's a bonus action. Actually, uh... But isn't the... Isn't... No, dash is an action. Yeah, yeah. it is. An action, but hiding or disengage is usually a bonus. And he hasn't expelled that yet. I think disengage is a regular action, isn't it? I think it's a bonus, bro. I, I get... Actually, you know what? I will use... Or maybe it depends on like what you're. No, I use here. dash as the bonus to get to here. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you're dash a dash as your action. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're a rogue. You can bonus action. If you have an extra action, you can use dash again. The uh, orange no. circle represents the kind of fiery ember on the ground, as like a little mm -hmm. uh, difficult terrain. Can Noah see the like little baby centipede thing, or is it still like kind of breaking through the shell? Yeah, no, it, it kind of does an explosion, like a little pop explosion, um, oh. and it throws little fire embers uh, all around it. The, you remember it was like glowing orange. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. So it kind of burst um, on the spot. Is it covered in goop? Uh, the baby, yes. Placenta. Hey Noah, save me some of that placenta. I'd like to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a couple. Mm. We could sell that shit. I think, are you done up, Noah? Then. Yeah, that was my. If turn. you have an extra action, you can. You have an extra action, right? You can use dash as a bonus action. It's... That's what the that's what the egg looks like in uh, Lighthouse Tidbits. How many actions do you have, Noah? I've got two attacks. Is that an action or is it just two attacks? Do you have two actions or two attacks? No, two attacks. Okay. So, so I use action. my action to fucking. I haven't used an action yet. Right. So you can use your action to dash now. <laughs> you can dash again or you can attack the egg, I guess. Uh... The baby. You can dash for how many times you have actions, and if you have action, dash as a bonus action, you can dash that too. That is dangerous terrain, you say. Yeah. I uh, I don't take I don't what? impose any disadvantages on difficult terrain because you're a ranger. Difficult. Yes. Well, I've got like there's a fucking multitude. So there is a creature here, right? Correct. Yes, it's a little baby. All right, uh, but by little, it. it's a it's probably the size of you. So I'm gonna hit it with advantage. Make sure I'm reading that right. Fucking you spawn camp in this thing. You don't. Yeah, for real. Uh, are you gonna attack it? Yeah. Okay. You kill it. I mean, it's a. It's got about three seconds of air into its life. It's not. Yeah. You know what I <laughs> you mean. You aborted that thing. To yeah. Be honest. 
It's it's dead. It's you got him. All right. <laughs> you got him. Don't even need to roll for it. All right. Okay. It didn't even have to walk yet. No, that was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad almost for a <laughs> second. I uh, how yeah, how, how are you? This. So this thing burst out of um this egg. What what is the method here? How are you killing this? Uh, uh, so Maybe I wield a, a rapier and I literally just like poke it straight in the fucking brain, right in the <laughs> soft spot of its little fetal. This mind. the soft cranium, okay? Yeah. And it goes like, <laughs> as it just kind of curls up and fucking. <laughs> it's first and only noise as yeah. a life. All right. It's a tough life. Uh, yeah, I'll pass from there. Okay, so you. Um, can operate in difficult terrain, correct? Yes. Is that what you're you're going without with? any disadvantage? Okay. Movement. And like I said, these are they it exploded in like fiery embers, so it's not like um, you're engulfed in a fireball. Okay. You're just walking on a little campfire, basically. Well, I yeah. fly. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're flying. I forgot. Okay, is that the end? Yes. Okay, so correct me if I'm Walt. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Walt. But the centipede monster now appears. Correct. Um. Well, he, not until at the end of its next turn. So this is its next turn right now. So the end of that. Yeah. Correct. So this is the. This is the next turn after banishment, so he appears. He's not yeah, doing he, anything, so technically it's the end of his turn, so now he appears. Yes. And, yeah, and then it would be whoever's the next in line. Okay. Uh, so then it's you again. Okay. Um, so we still got two dudes, like, not even close to that thing. Balls so you guys pretty much saw this monster disappear. You had time yeah. to collect the uh, dragon star and kind of have yourself a little scurry to, I'm assuming, flee. And um, as Brett and Josh are halfway through the cavern, they notice the monstrosity to the left reappear after, you know, 36 seconds or what have you. Um, and that's where we stand at now as far as the monster. Okay. Uh... And Noja decided to go attack the thing. I went to pee. Is he like <laughs> to the yes. egg? Yes. Noah uh, executed it. Yeah. Oh, titties, Noah. Nice. Um, I guess what I'm gonna do is vanishing arrow again. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. I guess I can see how it's not far. Not a terrible idea. <laughs> It's not, but the what are the odds of me throwing another eighteen or plus attack and then him rolling a twelve or lower DC? Okay. I mean, I don't know if those odds. And then you just lose one of your super cool arrows. Yeah. Well, no. They oh, he gets he gets those kind of infinitely. It's kind oh, of really? Yeah, it's a short rest. I'm gonna shoot him again. <laughs> I mean, if collectively we want to try that. Nah, but... nah, just get the fuck out. Yeah, you could just dash push. away. I'm gonna get me and him the fuck out of here next turn. So. Okay, so I'm Sick. gonna. I have vanished that motherfucker again. I've got fifty uh, flying speed. So can you guys see my little measurement thingy? Yeah, if you dash, you get a hundred. That's what I'm saying. I'm doing. He's gonna do that, and that puts me right about there at the the old ooze that has been allegedly washed away. But I'm also flying, so I'm not stepping on it or anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get. So there. you're you're flying up there, correct? Yeah, I'm flying. Oh, yeah, over there, up there. I don't know if we're going up or not, but that direction. Yes, I am flying. What is your method of flying? I'm a bird. He's an aircrawler. Okay, so a giant, not a giant, but a human-sized bird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a bird, a bird person. person. Okay, one second. <laughs> I guess this is how I wanted it to go. Actually, just give me a 
Give me a stealth check on your flight. Stealth check on flight. Coming up. Plus five. Oh, baby. Nat 20. Okay. <laughs> like an owl through the night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You become a barn owl. <laughs> and that will be the end of my turn because All I right. need to... Okay, Brett. All right. I'm gonna grab Boulette and be like uh Do you trust me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of you. And fucking I'm gonna cast a dimension door. Ooh. Cool. And I am going to basically teleport us out of this entire place back up to where we kind of oh, went into the room. You don't have to. I it, it's it's uh you teleport yourself from your current location to any other spot within range. You can arrive exactly at the spot you desired as long as it's within a forty five degree angle, like upward to the northwest at like three hundred feet, stuff like that. So it's a 500 foot range. That would put you right outside the temple, yeah. Dimension Door is 500 feet. Yeah, on Baldur's Gate, it's only like 15. <laughs> yeah, range area is it's one action, 500 feet. Well, this is at fourth level. Uh, oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's true. God damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, so where are you trying to go? Uh, so yeah, just basically outside of here, back to like the entrance to the room before we got there. The stair room, yeah, like yeah, here, room. like here, or like not even in this room. Yeah, yeah, like to like where we walked in, and there was like behind the bookshelf. There's stairs. Oh, okay. Or, like so outside you're, of that room. So you're Where's essentially that? trying to go. Um, yeah, because this is oh shit, wrong thing. This is the room above. Uh, well, I guess it's yeah, it's somewhere like right here, yeah. right? Yeah, because okay. you walk to the right. So, so you're trying to a, go right here ish. Yeah, it would be hold on. Oh shit, that was terrible. Uh no. Well, I guess yeah, depending on how you look at it, it'd be somewhere in that range, yeah. Okay. Um, well, this, this is only this is only like two hundred feet. So yeah. I still have like so three hundred feet to fuck with. <laughs> okay. Okay. And <sighs> Okay, so is, I can make it easy and just take us to the stairs. No, I'm I'm think so it's a um verbal, correct? Like does uh, it have a ver verbal component to that uh for I don't believe Actually, door? dis disregard that. It wouldn't matter. It is it is verbal, but right. yeah. Disregard, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, okay. So, you're good uh for dimension door right there, no problem. Yeah, I can take one creature that's either my size or smaller. Okay, so you and uh, Josh are going, right? Yep. Okay, so I'll, I'll just put your I'll just put your tokens up here. Bye bye. All right, we go. Run, run Noah, run. <laughs> yeah, no. Gonna... Yeah, you see us like floating in like fucking Star Wars stars behind <laughs> past you. Boy, you got you gotta get the fuck out of there, dude. <laughs> okay, so Josh. Oh, what? That's that's the end of your turn, there, bro. Yeah, I'm. I mean, you're already out, so fuck it. <laughs> yeah, just turn it off. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm Jay chilling for my turn. If he's done, you're Jay chilling. Yeah, we're just waiting on them. Okay. Right. Uh, no, ja? <laughs> uh, I'll dash. I'll take eighty feet of movement to get the f out of here. You can do that. Yeah. Something like that shit. You can, you, you can get out of here plus some. Yeah, because yeah, you have an extra dash, too. You have a bonus action dash yeah. and your action dash. Holy shit. Level yeah, 19 uh, is so cool. I'm going to book it. <laughs> so, I think yeah. rogues get two oh, dashes starting like level 3. Yeah, they do. Oh, no shit? Yeah, so, he, he, can do that, he can do that on our campaign. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, uh, I will need a stealth check on that. Oh goody! 
You get advantage on it because your boots. You don't make you any said, noise when you walk. I'm also. Ooh, I'll be like plus eleven or something. You shit. said his magic word. Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he's a plus thirteen with advantage. That's stupid. Advantage. I don't know if you can <laughs> fail. Twenty-seven. Yeah. And somehow no was quieter than <laughs> than than, than, Walt, than than Walt flying like a barn owl. Oh, oh I had a nat twenty. Fuck that. I don't care magic or not. Oh, favorite. was it a nat? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember. No. Yeah. So I fly. So Walt pretty much just dimension door to to where he is now. <laughs> no one noticed, but I'm just pooped over there. All right, so now you're pretty much out of the room, right? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna post up at the stairs. Just in case I can't make it. I'm stealth right now. If some bad shit goes down, I could help you. Okay. Much appreciated, bro. I guess that leaves it. I'll hold it. Well, I don't have an action to hold, so. That leaves it to the little centipede fuck. Okay. Um, So, well, this turn, it's back, correct? Yes, it's very rock. Okay. Um, he shoots venom. Four hundred and twenty-five. Causing you blindness. Roll disadvantage for finding your way out. Oh, you, yes. roll, you walk yes. right yes. like what the fuck happened? <laughs> okay. You fell into the liquor barrel and started drowning. I was just That's, in a world of kittens. <laughs> the hatchling eats you whole. <laughs> So he is going to you Walt. Um, uh, okay. Give me a perception spec. Oh, nice. That's probably one of my higher ones. Oh, computer went away. Hold on. Waiting to see what my perception is. No. Not responding. God damn it. I guess I go to the phone here for that. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Perception is a plus five. Hopefully I can uh, make something good out of this. Oh my fucking god, get out of here. And survey says eight. <laughs> Okay. Um, Is everything on the up and up in my eyes? Yeah. Um, yeah, everything's on the up and up. Um, Protein. And coke. This yeah, coke I mean, it's good. you um, don't hear anything, you don't see anything, and it's hasn't came through um, this tunnel, right? Like the the throat of this area. Okay. Um, would that be my turn at this point? Correct. Okay. Um, given that ugh, that sucks because I know something's up at that point, but what I gotta play like I don't know. Um, I guess fly, fly motherfucker, fly. My character is just gonna uh putz on out of here. Dash. Yeah, I'm just gonna go up the stairs and meet Brett. I guess. Can I just move my token in the darkness or? Does your I have that. Do you not provoke opportunity attack or anything? Um, Either way, I would need a stealth because I'm assuming you're flying, correct? Yes. I can, yeah. yeah. Yep. Let me get another stealth. It doesn't even have to be an opportunity. Like, um, because I'm kind of judging your flight path here. That's fair. Unless you roll pretty bad. We can't use trimmers. Nat one. Nat one. Nat one. I mean, I'm not near any of the hatchlings, so I feel like it shouldn't. Fuck you, Josh. <laughs> what? Fourteen. Yeah. That's above the median range, so we'll see. Okay. Nothing. Okay, you're good. You're good. If there was a little bit more commotion, if 
Brett didn't dimension door and there was more ruckus in this area, something would have happened. But yeah, bar an owl through the night, uh, you're good. Sick. That's my turn. I don't really care. Okay, so you guys are heading up the stairs, correct, Mundos? Yep. Correct. Noah would be on the stairs at this point, I think. Like, yeah. almost on top. If that changes anything. Did y'all get this refresh then? Yeah. Uh, I just changed map, so that might be. Holy hell. Um, so uh, it's so we have the sunstone. It's about time you got up here. <laughs> Guys, dragon star. Read the scroll. Okay, so you guys are in this area. Mm -hmm. uh, are we out of right now, or are we still in under initiative rules? An initiative. Okay. So, guys, based on that crack, I might imagine that little fucker is going to pop up out of the temple. So, we might want to just get as far away from all this as we can. <laughs> we could run into the snow. So, if there's fire that hits us, we can just get in the snow. Ah, cool. dimension door. <laughs> Can you only carry one person, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're out of here. To, who wants to live? Well, <laughs> same size as you, or smaller, right? Well, we can fly. Same size or smaller, yeah. I mean, we can fly, yes, but trigonometry, based on the size of that centipede, I think you'd have to have two turns worth of vertical climbs to get away from its... I, we don't even know if it has range attacks or not. I wasn't joking about the venom thing. It could probably shoot <laughs> venom hundred fucking feet. <laughs> it just gets on its hind fifty legs and yeah. Now all right, oh. so Brett, what you got? Oh fuck me. Okay. Uh I don't know how much time we got in between us and this fucking thing coming out. Um. Huh. Let's Are we see supposed here. to see this like rat width fifty thing at the top left? Oh, I cast the dimension door. Let me roll a d twenty. That's just quick. the that's just like map dimensions for like scaling purposes. Okay. Straight d twenty. So I lose my concentration on my fucking spell with haste. So I do not have haste up anymore. Does that mean you're lethargic? <laughs> no. I know, in, like Baldur's Gate, when you when you oh, lose that's haste, true. It can't move or take actions until its next turn. That's true. Huh? There's a wave of lethargy. Can't move or take. I don't think that's a five e five e thing, though, is it? It is. Holy shit! What is it yeah. now? If you use haste. Yeah, I can't. It, once the spell ends, I can't use it. I can't move or take an action. Dimension so door. Not, no, no haste. haste. It's a spell. My haste ended because I rolled a I rolled a concentration check on it, which is just a straight d twenty. And if you roll above a ten, you're still concentrating. If you roll above below a ten, you're not concentrating. I rolled a five, so I'm not concentrating anymore. I lose the spell, so thus I am lethargic. Okay, uh, I wasn't even tracking. Haste was a spell. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. haste is a. I ain't gonna yeah. fuck. There are like potions of haste and stuff, at least in Baldur's Gate. I don't know if yeah. there are in. So I can't really do much of anything. <laughs> All right. Uh... Can you hold your action, or he doesn't have an action to hold? I don't have an action to hold. Yeah. Uh, I can get begin begin preparing a spell though. There you go. There's a spell that's going to take me a one minute to cast. So. I'm going to start preparing that. <laughs> you all judge, like, the rules as, like, six seconds a turn? Yeah. Yeah, so that'll be ten turns to take, cast this spell. Okay. Good okay, Josh, what you got? Um, I'm going to go out this door. Okay, so that door is locked. Okay. The one we came in? Through? The one we came in? Uh, I thought you came in through the east. Right here? Did you guys come in through here? I think we yeah, came yeah, in through we this door. Yeah, we went outside and tried oh, to... Oh, okay, through. okay, okay, okay. I thought you guys came in through here. My bad. So is this open or no? No, this is open. It, yep. 
Okay. Isn't that the one you spent forever to bust down? Yeah. Out. I thought that was the bookcase. Oh, that uh, yeah, that was the bookcase. But yeah, we Noah also. Josh opened the door earlier. He. Okay. Yeah, Doors yeah, open. I yep. think so. Um. Keep in mind your movement speed. Yeah, I'm gonna dash to here. And then, how high is this building? Um, it's gonna be about 1.5, whatever width it is. So 45, so about 20 feet tall. Bro, we're about to be in the movie Tremors. I know. Okay. <laughs> um, and then how do you two questions? One? one, how do you base jump as an action or a bonus action, or just as part of your movement? I thought it was like a one and a half times your the spell. No, just like to jump, like just just jumping. Standard jumping should yeah, be. You, it, it takes away from your movement. Yeah. Okay. Thing, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. movement. Okay. It took me like 20 feet to get there, so I only have like 10 movement left. So I can't make that jump. So I'm just going to stay where I am. Well, is it 10 feet half your movement? Wouldn't that work? Well, I, I used, I was here. And I only have 30 movement, and I went oh, to 15, here. 15 to jump, gotcha. Yeah, and I dashed to here. Okay. And I can't jump to the roof. But I do have a thing for jumping. Like, I get to add my, my strength mod to jump that many feet further. My strength mod's five, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna use that on my next turn to get on the roof. But for now, I'm just gonna end my turn here. Excuse me. Ella. So I'll probably just fly up in the air, thirty feet, and I guess hold an action. Where? Okay. So you're gonna have to come just twenty feet outside the room first before taking flight. Yeah, you trying fine. to fly outside, I'm assuming? Yeah, I've got... All right, so I have 40 feet. So I'll go 20 to get outside and then 20 up. Okay. Can you not dash to fly higher? I could, but I think I'd prefer to hold the action. Well, it's a bonus um, action for you to don't you get Don't you get double dash? Your bonus action and your action? Dash is... So can you do that? Yes, you can use dash as an action as many and times. A, and since or as a bonus it, action. As a bonus action. Yes, you can, if yeah, you, you have can... it as a bonus action, you can dash. If you have an action, you can dash. If you have two actions, you can double dash. If you have two actions and a bonus action, you can Holy triple dash. fucking shit. So I can go 200 feet in a turn. Yes. Technically, yes. Get if you have 40, the... Well, if you have 40 feet of movement, you can go... 120 80, a turn. 80, 160. 120, yeah, I think. At the start of any oh, yeah. combat, yeah, 120, cause I get it's another 50 40, feet. 120. All right, yeah, I'll just... Okay. All right, you know, fuck it. Bonus action, I'll dash, and I'll fly up an additional 40 feet. There's 60 feet, feet in the air? <laughs> yes. With haste, that means you can. And then like, are you still gonna hold with your action? Yeah, I'll hold my my action. Yes. Dude, if I gave you haste, you can move like three hundred feet. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> and his AC would be up too. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that's stupid. What the fuck? How are you able to fly, Noah? He's well, a fairy. Oh, that's insane. Okay, um, monster's taking its turn. Oh, monster. Yeah, last I checked with my eight perception, he was just killing this game. <laughs> yeah, I trust that. Yeah, he's he's just chilling, guys. Like I, I think we got I think we got nothing to worry about. All right, Walt, what you got? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, guys, he's just chilling. We don't have to worry about him. Um, I'm not going to. I guess let's do some trigonometry here, boys. It looks like it's going to be. Can anyone see my distance measure? Because it looks blurry to me. Twenty feet. Twenty. Twenty-five feet right there. Yep. Yeah. 
I'm going to do that and then use the other 75 feet to go vertically in the sky. Like, oh, shit, hold on. Y'all are just waiting to drop predator missiles on this guy? Pretty much. So I want to get outside the building, which was right here for 25 feet or whatever. So I'm just going to go 75 feet up in the air. Okay. So nose at 40, you're at 75. Mm hmm. Okay. And that's it for me. No, uh, whoever's next. Brett, I think. All right. Uh, I think I'm, I'm at going... 60. I'm getting a feeling this isn't over, so I'm going to go ahead and stay as... I'm going to stay as still as possible in the room and continue preparing my spell. And that'll be my turn. Okay, so it's me? Yep. So with jumping, if my movement speed is 30, that means the highest I can jump is like 15 feet. Is that correct? Yeah, something like that. It's like half your movement. Okay. Yeah, we'll call it half. Um, Dude, my vertical jump's like a credit card. So if that if it means I can add my strength modifier to my jump, that means I can jump 20 feet because my mod is 5? Yeah. If you're trying to jump on a roof, um, yeah. this... The like this one that you're looking at doesn't have a roof. <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, that changes it, things. <laughs> so if if you look down here at the house to the south, you could see shingling, right? Oh yeah, no. This yeah, one is sense. like bones of the frame. Yeah, it's just like yeah, okay, gotcha. But I mean, this wall right here is a few. Which wall? Like the, you know what I mean. How high is it? You say like twenty feet? It's just like I'm gonna no, be like a, a bounce few, beaming. A few feet. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna walk over on the other side of this wall and hide behind it. Josh, how heavy are you, your character? Um, I'm a dragonborn. I can look it up. I really don't know. If you don't mind, because that would change whether or not I can pick you up or not. If I even have a chance, rather. 250. This is Elder Scrolls, not D&D &D 5e. Uh, <laughs> 300 pounds or more is what this says. Okay, <laughs> Elder Scrolls. Brett, right, I just typed in Dragonborn weight and it showed yeah. Elder Scrolls 5. <laughs> yeah. Brett, do you think it would be worthwhile to, since all of us can fly minus Josh, uh, polymorph him into a bird or something so we could just fly out of this little city that we're in. We could do that, yeah. And hopefully evade. I think we're going to probably have to fight this guy regardless, right? Well, I mean, it's I mean, depends on if we fly around, because he's got to make movement to get to where we are currently, so yeah. I mean, we'll see what happens next turn, but maybe we should I, just fly out. I do have another question. Um, Travis, when we do like leveling up, do you do it based off XP or where we are in the campaign? Oh, I'll stun. Okay, cool. That anyway, was going to determine whether or not I wanted to fight this monster. I I'll do believe uh, it's the monster's turn, though, right? Um, it's Noah's it's turn. Noah's. Oh. Noah, go higher. <laughs> super, super high in the air. Fuck. Let's Icarus this shit. How much of a yeah, range you got on that guess... bow? I'll go another twenty feet. That should put that should max me out. I think it's sixty feet for the short bow. It only goes to sixty feet for a short bow. Wait, hold up! I'm not even using a fucking bow. Um, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna stealth. Can I do that? Did you not? Do you not have a bow? I don't run a bow, dude. He's a rapier. He's a raper. But doesn't your like rogue starting equipment give you a bow and your ranger? Like, wouldn't either of those guys start with one? Yeah, I'm not using that though. You can yeah. attempt. I'm gonna just equip it. All right, thirty-two. Okay. Um, in any other sense, it would be definite. Um, but this particular thing has, um, uh, wait, 
No, but don't you have like magic y stealth or whatever? Where on, like you were telling me the other day, like certain Indian, Indian, sent, not sentient beings, but like certain things still couldn't see you. I can make myself invisible, but. I thought there was some added bonus to your stealth with the character that you built. No, not really. He gets advantage for stealth for the boots. Well, yeah, there's something he said that like certain creatures couldn't even see him, even if they had magic y ways of seeing him. Mm. All right, no, so. Yeah, so I'm just going to bing chill. I don't even know where the fuck my character is. Literally right outside the door. You just don't know how many yeah, feet in the air he is? is? I'm just going to. I guess I'll, I'll flutter over to here. Yeah, really the high up in the me. air and uh, just okay. try and hide in my god uh, is there like a blizzard going on or anything it's a uh, it's like a flurry yeah uh you can oh. blend in from you know normal creatures all right i'm going to do that okay Fast. hold <laughs> action let me do some calculation i'm changing the map so it might kind of put you oh Oh no, we're back in the goddamn cave. It's the math. Run! It's the math. It's the math. It's the math. It's the math. I'm the math. I'm the math. I'm the math. I'm the math. <laughs> I'm the math. If there's a place you want to go, you got to do some math. You go in the <laughs> math. <laughs> If you wanna take me out, this little puzzle. Okay. okay, so I'm mad you still know the song. <laughs> Show me the uh, millipede goblin. Where's that token at, bro? Oh, fucking... The good news is, boys, we're pretty fucking far away from him. Oh yeah. That yeah, we, we fuck him up. We don't know Venom splatter potential or whatever the fireball, whatever the fuck he has, because he's probably just a crazy ass creature. Looks like we're gonna try to banish again so we can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> just spend this whole fucking campaign running our dick off <laughs> from one monster. <laughs> like it just keeps following us. Um, <laughs> that would be awesome, actually. <laughs> I am going to do a... So, he's kind of have a split choice right now. Okay. What do you, what do you get, Gad? We get the final voice. He's like, give me my star! You come back here and fuck my wife. Who's <laughs> got the... Who's, Alright, who's got the star? Is it Brett or... J it's uh, Brett. I have the star. Okay. But I tried to remain super still. <laughs> I'm um, sure the star that's radiating I've, warmth will I've give seen me away. He's so still, he's basically visible. Hmm. Did you say basically visible? <laughs> <laughs> I've become a lamppost. Okay. Um, I, yeah. a lamp post. I saw a shrub one time that looked like Brett. That's fair. <laughs> For some reason that made me think of that time I rolled my eyes up. <laughs> Orb's gonna give me away. Yeah, I didn't even think about that while you were like standing still. I was like, that's probably good. Yeah, well, anything. here's the funny thing. I wasn't thinking about it either, but now that you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It's crazy how that works, right? Uh, okay, so because you do have the, even though you are standing still, at the end of the day, you still have the orb. Star. It was a star. It's a star. Well, because uh, the orb is else that kept the fucking warmth. Star's different. It's just a piece. So he used all of his movement to burrow um, and tunnel itself north of the tunnel and using its 
tremor vision found you guys coming up the stairs. So with that, with the uh, dragon star, he is appearing right where you see him. Okay. It's from the ground? Yes, he he's bursting through the ground. So do we get a su surprise attack on him? Should. If you have a ready in action, you do. Yeah. A ready in action. Okay. How how tall is he after he comes through the ground? Uh, he is. What is what is huge? Huge is probably going to be like fifteen feet high. And if he's fifteen feet long, you could say he stands on his he's, back legs to maybe to get to like. 20. Yeah, he's longer than he is taller. Yeah, so I'd say if he like wanted to jump up, he can jump like twenty five feet in the air type deal. Or like launch up twenty five feet in the air with his feet still on the ground. Is this a new combat? This is the same combat. Same. Uh are you is using it, your uh, ready Yeah. Are you using your ready to action? Yes. Okay. Go. Alright. I'm going in, boys. I see this motherfucker pop out of the fucking ground. Pull my rapier out. I'm gonna fucking fly in forty feet. Didn't you use all your movement to get, get where you are? You sure did. He did. So are we out of? It would be it would be Brett or Walt's turn. They're the ones that are right after the thing, right? Walt and Brett. That's why well, I was asking if he's it was trying new to use combat. his ready action. He's oh, trying to use his ready yeah. action, but you yeah. can't use your ready action unless you're using like a ranged attack on him right now. With he uses, you're, we're still yeah. technically within the same turn that you used your yeah. on your turn you used the movement to get there so you depleted movement but you still had an action it but no movement <laughs> just throw it at him <laughs> just throw my fucking sword no um, <laughs> so if you have a range I don't want to rain on your parade but yeah that is how that works <laughs> no I'm not Doing, I don't do range shit. So, I uh, uh, I'll just use yeah. necklace. Just become limic real quick. Fireball necklace, don't you have yeah, it? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I don't have the. I don't. I can see you still necklace. thinking as limic right now. What are, <laughs> what are your magic options? Uh, I'll cast fairy fire on them. That make gives advantage for the next attackers. That's good. Yeah, well, it uh, gives advantage to everyone in the. Area. I think it's, it's everyone that's is... in his fairy fire, right? Like so you... Yeah. Okay. So it's fifteen Makes... by fifteen, right? I think it's fifteen by fifteen. Yeah, so you can just basically cast twenty it foot on cube. Center of him. Center so of him I'm gonna is... put yeah, I'm putting him in the twenty foot cube. We'll say like pew. whatever catches that him. That was in so it, yeah. bad, but well, yeah, that was pretty bad. Are is your twenty feet cube centered on him? Yes. So 10 feet up, 10 feet down. Yes. 10 feet and left, he 10 is feet. 15 feet. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. right. And I'm so, 10 feet away from him, so it would be not yeah. in. I'm not yeah, in you're room. not in it. Correct. Walt's not in it either, because I'm 70. Yeah, Walt's yes, both. correct. Yeah, so everybody gets... So he needs to make a... Hang on, hold up. Any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in light if it fails a deck saving throw so you need to make a dex so is that a concentration pretty dexterous is that a concentration spell i think i believe it, it is, is a concentration spell he fails Anytime dex? you make an attack you have to roll a d20 to make sure you maintain that concentration yeah it's fine but i'm i'm just trying to give you guys you, you guys get advantage on it he yeah. fails dex. Alright. So everyone that's about to make a, an attack against him gets advantage. Okay. Yeah. But that doesn't, it doesn't do any damage to him or anything? No. Okay. And how many people do we have within 10 feet of him currently? Brett. Yep. 
but he's in a different room, right? Which... The door's open. Technically. It doesn't matter. Well, I mean, if I use bursting arrow, I don't want him to be affected by the addition. Well, you damage. can center it on him, and it still won't hit me because he is fifteen feet big. Okay. You could center him like the bottom part of him, probably. Do you guys think yeah. it's stupid to attempt? <laughs> Just imagine getting Walt in the air, seventy feet up, having this conversation. Do you think it's? <laughs> yeah, you see the, the it's like the meme with the numbers around the fucking head. Yeah. The yeah. Zach Galifianakis one. Yeah. <laughs> Should I do this? Or that fucking the, the fucking black guy doing the face? <laughs> well, you're using a readied action, correct? No, it's just, I'm just using my next turn because I'm next after the monster. You okay. did ready an action, though. I did, but I mean, does it matter? Like, does it count against my if I have a ready well, action? Well, it's it up to you. Ready. It's up to you if you're attacking now or not, because it is the monster's attack turn. Okay, well then I'll, I'll fire a fucking arrow at his little ass. Vanish him! Well, hold on. No. We can vanish. Dude, if you, if you banish him right now, that would be pretty stellar. <laughs> Just run away again. Alright. So... Everybody run! No, we can kill this fucking thing. I'm sure he has, like, we haven't done any damage, though. You haven't done yeah. jack shit for damage. I hit him for, like, 25. I did. I did. I hit him for fucking, I hit him for a stellar amount. Yeah, I'm about got, to do it yes, again. Yes, you did a lot, yeah. you did a lot of damage, but. I hit him for, like, 36, I think. But okay, so that was 12 on, my... on his health pool, he's not even bloodied or anything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I rolled 12. On you roll with advantage. Cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ten. So, the twelve. But it is one quarter of health, I found out. So, on my ready to action, I can't use my, like, multiple attacks, right? It's just one. You have extra attacks, don't you? I do, but I don't know how that works for ready to action. Well, using multiple attacks is one action, I believe, for, like, fighters. I can use one action to attack multiple times. I don't know how that works, though, for a ready one, if that makes a difference. So, with a 5, I would have hit a 16 on that last one. Which I think is... Uh, he's a 17 armor class. Are you are you shooting that arrow thing? Just, yeah, just an arrow. I shot an arrow at him for 16, but I don't think that it hits him, right? No. Oh, you so. should always declare the magical thing, though. No, I know, but I, I'm going to use my next attack. I was going to shoot a regular one and then use my next yeah, attack. Yeah, go ahead. Use, no, use, no, use, not, your, use your not second your, attack. Not your special arrows. Just all, I would pretty much always declare that it's a magical arrow. We'll do, do we'll do roll a cool. Go ahead and, and uh, attack him again for your ready. So 23. Does a 23 hit him? Magical or non? Magic. Well, non magic. Well, banishing arrow. So, but. Actually, ready, uh, Brett, correct me if I'm wrong. Ready to actions um, uh, are like you no longer have a ready to action after initiative, right? I'm pretty that's sure. That's why I was at. I'm, that's pretty, why I was I'm like 99% sure you have to use your ready to action on the initiation round. You can't roll it over into another initiation round and stack attacks. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Not necessarily. No. It doesn't have to be before initiative. It just has to be, it's saying you're, that you're stating that an action is going to be a trigger on some sort of effect or some sort of response. And busting through the ground made me want to start shooting arrows at them. So, it's an action just like any other, and it, it's taken on your turn. So, you, you on your turn, you take a ready... It, it basically, it, it, like, it, like literally, like I said, it's making an action into a reaction. So, you take your turn, you take the action on your turn to become, make a readied action. That becomes a reaction on some sort of condition. 
It does not have to be at the beginning of initiative. Nope. It's just a little tricky because it's the monster turn and I'm after the initiative and I was using the ready to attack. Yeah, but you used your action last turn to set up that readied action. Okay. So you're basically it's no, saying I give up Yes, okay. Oh, yeah, I, you, you're holding you give, it. You give yeah. up an action on one turn to make it a reaction for when some sort of condition happens. So I I have two more attacks on the on this one that I'm assuming lands with the twenty three. I have one more so our it. condition was when this monster appears, I'm going to use this ready to action. And you turn that ready to action on your turn into a reaction for when this monster appears. I just pulled up the book and it definitely doesn't say anything about it being out of initiative. Yeah, it says it, like it, you just have to say what you're going to do and what triggers that ready action. Yeah, exactly. Like the examples are like if someone walks in this trap door, I'm going to pull the lever. Or if this goblin steps next to me, I'm going to move away. If this monster pops out of the ground, I'm going to shoot this arrow. Yeah. That's the type, that's the type of deal. That's, how the, that's how the book to... words it, at least. The yeah. 5B book. It does not have to be before initiative or out of initiative. Okay. I'm also going to copy and paste this link to the Google Drive book in the uh, chat so I don't have to keep looking at it. Up. Ready wow. to actions took me a while to figure it out too. They're kind of a pain in the ass. But... I've never even like used them before. So... Right, well, what you got? So does the twenty three hit? Twenty three hits, yes. Okay, so if you can roll a, oh. a charisma saving throw. Okay. Uh he definitely fails whatever he needed to. Okay, so he's banished. Okay. <laughs> he's banished <again. laughs> oh my god. Fuck. Okay. Oh. Okay. Monster's banished. All right. So at this point, I think you all have enough movement speed to skedaddle um, now that night. you're not constricted by the underground area. Um, is that y'all's choice is to flee? I think it's our best option to get the fuck up out of here because we have no idea yeah. what this is about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think it's fine to leave. Unless you guys want to make this guy ours. Nope, get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck him. All right. Let's What's go. Then. Okay, so you guys are fleeing. I'm down to flee. Yeah, yeah. I'm down to flee as well. I'll flee. All right, cool. Um... We'll we'll get to the next area and then we'll wrap it up uh, for the night if that's what y'all want to do. But I think that's a that's probably a good stopping point. Yeah. Um, this has been so, pretty badass. So, <laughs> um, what was your ready to action there, uh, Brett? Oh, for me? Yeah. That'll be a secret for another day. Ooh, wow. <laughs> classy. That's a fun one that I don't want to give away yet. <laughs> right, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Okay, it. so you guys are in a scurry. You guys are just absolutely booking it. Uh, can Josh fly? No. In spirit? I can, yeah. stop uh, my, I can stop my thing oh. and polymorph him to fly. I can get on my broom, fly away, polymorph him to fly. Okay. So, we'll say you do that. Right? Yeah, so I'll go ahead and, yeah, I'll go ahead and give myself another Okay. Story. Can we just both both fly in your broom? I just back, back seat. Nope. You know, just arms around the hips. You're, you're, you're a dragon. You're riding okay. a broom. <laughs> okay, so... You guys flee. You have the dragon star. Okay. And you guys are heading towards the lighthouse, I'm assuming, to continue yeah. your quest? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll get here, and then this is where we'll stop for the uh, for the Nizzy. All right. I just want to make sure. Hold on. Uh, let me make sure. Where... What kind of dragon do I want to make you real quick? Get to fight the centipede, but at the same time, like. Oh well, it's only for an hour. I don't know. We'll fucking just leave it at that. 
Well, an hour will get you far enough to where the dragon yeah. will give up. Or may I uh, a go the guarding centipede? Yeah. yeah, Brett, you definitely didn't want to get hit by its next attack, though. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was gonna fuck me up. <laughs> I was well, I, with, with I my was, fucking ten AC having ass. I was really, really AC looking forward 10? to uh, doing yeah, my this. AC's 10. <laughs> You're so, just glass cannon out of here. I'm a wizard, bro. <laughs> I just, hey, look, I, I'm all about dude, it's. I give it no, a shield reaction. I would have given up my spell for a shield hey, reaction. Look, I I give Noah credit credit for doing some damage on his melee attacks, but I think it's fucking funny as shit when Josh runs up there, stabs him, and gets ignited in flames, and then Noah's like, "That's not, that looks like a really good idea." <laughs> yeah, we'll just do it again. Just to have him be hey, I did twice, more fucking. Away. <laughs> I did more damage to him than he did to me. That's false. No, it's not. Yeah, he it's did false. seventy damage to you. Yeah. He did seventy to you, <laughs> and he restrained 17? you. If, if he wasn't no, banished, dude, you're, you're fucked. If I, I didn't polymorph you into a dragon, you'd be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Like, I, I want to fuck with this thing, but, like, at the same time, he did 70. 70? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, why do you think I was like, you know what? Like, just do these spells and fucking banish his ass. I didn't think it worked twice. <laughs> I think we got lucky. That's what it's about. We definitely oh, my fuck. fucking God. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's the other thing. Can I make a suggestion to God that. Have, has anyone seen the other guys? Yeah. The movie? Yeah. Remember when he goes back to talk to his ex, Christina, and she has her husband that keeps telling him to fuck his wife, and then, like, they're, they drove oh, away for a long yeah. time. He yeah. came back. <laughs> you can't make love to my... I hope oh. he comes back. I want to see this thing again. Dude, <laughs> if he had hit me with that's with the damage that he hit you with, I would be dead oh. instantly. Yeah. Well, would you be full dead? Full dead. Yeah. It would be full dead instantly. I'm re-rolling my character. Let's just say... What's the same? Yeah, he he was um he wasn't looking uh he was lo lo I'll say this he was looking to swallow you. Oh, uh, that's like land is a lot. He's not a spitter. Oh, I would have just dimension door out of him. You could have uh, unblocked some blockage he had, and then he would have been your best friend, like in Land of the Lost. Oh yeah, <laughs> in Land of the Lost. Yeah, well, yeah, I take a big ass shit he's got stuck in there with me when I didn't. Well, you you, you would have been restrained though, so you would have had to. Yeah, but it's only a verbal component. I can just talk. Yeah. Yeah, but how would you, how would you move through Dimension Door? You cast it on yourself. It's just yeah, I would just cast it on myself. Well, wouldn't the, the monster go with you? No. I can only take something that's of my size or smaller. Okay. Well, you still would have taken damage on the on the swallow. Anyways. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure the definitely. acid inside of that thing stuff. Yeah, I definitely would have taken damage friendly. on the swallow. Okay. I wouldn't have been able to do that till my turn. This was some really wicked shit. You know, I've got a lot of wizardy bullshit. It's it gets a little crazy. Okay. <laughs> hey, I look. I'm here for it. I'm just the narrator here. All right. I think this was a pretty cool set. Okay, so uh, we'll we'll come here. So we will introduce ourselves to the lighthouse real quick, and then um, and then we'll call it a night. All right. So let us. I hear someone having a hard time with some hiccups right now. I think that's no. He said he had hiccups yeah, like an hour me, ago. <laughs> okay. I They're still hanging around. Fucking stop. <laughs> Fuck. Tiles are 30 feet, red tiles 10 feet. Okay. Okay, so more or less, this is how the rest of the maps will look. Um, <clears throat> these kind of colored tiles. All right, so. I don't think you're supposed to call them colored anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get more into the specifics uh, next sesh.
Um, yeah. But before we cross this bridge, we'll say that you guys found like a little cavern in the side of a mountain and short rest or long rest. I mean, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> on on your long rest, you'll level up. So next time we play, you'll be a level ten. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh, dick, dude. That's awesome. And then ten. Yeah. And then dude. we'll um. Get the fuck out. This we'll, is so cool. Uh, We'll continue We're from there. <laughs> We're We're to die. Well, we outsmarted a beast that can one shot us. So I'm gonna I'm be completely real with y'all. You outsmarted the fuck out of that thing. One, <laughs> one, any like, like ninety per ninety five percent of any D and D player, they're gonna want to search the fucking houses first. Which that's on me. I should have fog awarded it, but. In the narrative, it said, you know, you see the whole thing. So I just disabled all the Fog of War. And then you motherfuckers just ran right to the fucking big ass cathedral castle. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, okay, we're I knew, just. I, I knew they had said that the temple had something with it. Yeah, but... yeah. Uh, fucking Walter disabled the fuck out of that thing. Like... Yeah, if. if I, I don't want to say if Walt wasn't vanishing, but it's pretty. I mean, that was a pretty OP move. Yeah, yeah. My only other options would have been to, like dimension door or fly us out. Yeah, I mean that was my second thought. If I missed on the uh, second punishment, was to go swoop down and get Josh and try to fly the fuck out of there before he spit. And what was the green goop? Was that damaging? Was any of the stuff on the floor that we passed damaging stuff? Like no. It, oh, no. So we, we missed. Dude, I was way overthinking that. I was like, this shit's gonna poison me as soon now, as I step in. Now, what I will say was. I, um, you guys emptied the barrel of liquor, which is combustible. And that's why you were, got, you guys were rolling stealth checks on the last two eggs that were in that pool of liquor. So they were going to explode. Yeah. Oh, if, shit. if y'all didn't pass your stealth checks, then those eggs would have hatched, exploding the fire combusting and into a into the other liquor liquor barrels too yeah and it would have i would have been rolling a uh. lot of lot of dice <laughs> that's funny fuck yeah, yeah. so that's you know that no Jesus that was Christ that was stuff. honestly some great gameplay what? right there because yeah, even me super from glad i dimension doris out of there yeah like, even fuck. dude even me from <laughs> i was a, gonna stab him from a DM perspective, I was like, fucking motherfuckers, y'all fucking suck, dude. You're ruining my fucking shit. <laughs> dude, I was looking, oh man, I was looking to come up on Josh too from like tremoring underneath because he has tremor vision. And yeah. uh, I was going to fuck you up, but then you brought up the orb, the star. I was like, no, that makes more sense. Does the trimmer with with me hiding? Does that not matter with the trimmer? Or should I should stealth well, over there. Well, well the idea you, would have been like he can he sensed that you moved to that location. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's good. I'm glad yeah. you had the thing. And that's why I was saying no. Uh, yeah, that's why I was saying no. Uh, your stealth would kind of work, but not really. Okay. Well, plus if they're 13. flying, no, there's nothing for trimmer vision to work on. Yeah. Well. Alrighty, cool. So yeah, you guys haven't arrived here yet. You'll arrive here next session, which I'm good for whenever after like a week. Yeah, you know, we could do bi-weekly if that's cool with y'all. Try weekly, it don't matter. We'll just do it when everyone whenever everyone's ready. But uh yeah, if you've got everything set up for next week, I'm fine. It, it's yeah. up to y'all. I don't give a fuck. So we'll figure it out though. It's no worries. I but uh, I'll mean, be fine. I, it'll just be similar. Like I won't get here till like right before eight thirty. Oh, dude, it's not a big. We're all off, dude. Like we're all off the next day, so who gives a shit? Yeah, I'm. I'm chilling. I don't have anything going on. Yeah. So that, that was a good. That was a good session. Hell yeah, yeah, okay. yeah that's good. That's, that's... Shit was fun. I I have no. I'm. I don't know what the rest of this lighthouse. Like as far as the lighthouse goes, right now y'all know just about as much as me. Uh, maybe a little That's less, good. but That's fine, no. <gasps> yeah. So I mean, the first kind of battle right there, and you guys 
I don't think you'll be seeing him again. So oh. he started oh, with a hundred and let us see him again. <laughs> you make love to my wife. <laughs> I yeah. would love to see him again. I'll s- you guys did less than twenty five percent damage to him. Oh my Jeez. god, that's, that's understandable. How much damage did you do? Now? I was the I only tw- motherfucker that was doing damage. I hit him for twenty five. Yep. I created him. Wait, so is that dude at like two plus, two hundred plus? Yeah, he's gonna be two hundred plus. Holy shit! I gotta like be. I need to look at my. I need to get studied my character a little bit more than. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to not. He was. Him as it, much. I'm not to, I, I can, he was I'm a cha- he that. was a CR eleven. Okay, Jesus fuck. Oh, All CR right. eleven. Da- yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What does CR eleven mean? So basically, DMC thing rating. called challenge rating. Challenge rating is going to be based on like if it's a CR four, then a f- a party of four people that are at fourth level can take him on. Uh, okay. So it's CR- so, I thought it was combined rating. N- it's no, challenge. it's combat rating. So a CR eleven means four people at level eleven should be able to take him. Yes. Okay. So we were like fighting up. <gasps> Yeah, we were definitely out of our. Oh game. yeah, no, yeah, you were definitely fighting up. Okay, that's good. Can, like I, I've got to go study this shit out of my guy at level ten. See what the yeah, our is. best option in that situation would to be stall him as much as possible. Get the fuck out of town. Yeah. yeah. Well, right, good well. thing that the uh, the star got caught. Then. Yeah. Because I got a lucky roll in the dex roll. It could have oh, been bad. Oh, dude. Yeah, and yeah. that. So that's that was a hit. You know, fired from the hit thing right there with that. Because I was like. If the star bird. falls in that tunnel, then you guys are definitely going to have to stick around. So yeah, yeah we would have had to fight him. Yeah, dude, but you know what? I, you know that's it, how the dice fell tonight. But next week they are going to fall so differently. I swear. How do no. you how do you decide as far as like if we all die? Do we go back to a checkpoint where we're all alive, or do we just restart? Like, what do you do for that? So we'll do we'll do like. Not looking to kill anyone, but if yeah. you die in a obvious way, like fall into lava, you know what I mean, get crushed by something yeah. to work. If you go unconscious, we'll adjust yeah. accordingly and like make it streamlined. But unless you like die, die, like I'm not going to have any monster go after like downed guys. Right. Um. But if you guys all get unconscious, then we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> I should know how like how you run it. Like yeah, uh, for, for me, it'd be like Vinny comes in. Well, now there's here's Vinito, Vinny's brother. He's here, same skills, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah if you died, died. It's I mean, I I don't care about you know what I mean. It's I'm I'm here for the gameplay. Yeah, yeah. I do the cool. same way, kind of like whoever's still alive finds a new. There's, you're you're, you're definitely like, yeah. You're definitely not out of the campaign if you die. You know what I mean? Like you're we're yeah, still going to play. I know that. I mean, like, if we all die, do we like just restart or like go um, to a checkpoint? If you all that we're died, all alive at. If you all died, I think it would be fair that you all four would have brand new characters. Okay, okay. agreed. Yeah, because right. you can't have cool. Vinny and Vinito, his brother, and you can't have fucking uh, <laughs> Noja and Toja, his brother, and fucking Splooger <laughs> and fucking <laughs> Splooger. You know what I mean? Yeah, we yeah. all sent letters to our brothers in the game. <laughs> not creative people. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen people do that before. It's pretty fucking. But, yeah. All right, boys. Yeah, that's uh, that's. We'll start next session right here at level ten and uh, go from there. Dude, cool. thanks, Travis. That was pretty badass. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate it. Glad you, yeah, glad y'all had fun.